Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this episode of the JB Podcast. I'm joined with a uh, special guest, the intern. He's yeah. now on the episode. And a very special guest, my boy, Manny. Yo, what's good, gang? What's good? Your boy, Manny, here. Uh, very excited for today. You know, first time ever doing something like this. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Um, so let's see where this goes, you know? Yeah. So uh, Manny, uh, for those of you that don't know, we I think we might have mentioned you a couple times. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's always in the context of how like you like low key know everybody, <laughs> like especially like the Mexicans and shit. Yeah. So it's like that became like a running joke of like you, you just like you be, you be knowing everybody. It's like oh yeah. no, that's like my cousin's girlfriend, bro. Right. Right. And it's like right. yeah, you know you know everybody, right? Yeah. So uh, we I, I've at least known Manny uh, since freshman year high school. So that was like seven, Fif eight. It's like 2015, so it's like 15, yeah, 2015. Yeah, so so uh, so yeah, like seven years ago, yeah, uh, seven eight years ago, and and uh, Eddie's known him like obviously longer. I don't remember. I remember we going to the same middle school. I don't know if it was sixth grade or seventh grade. I feel like it was seventh grade because mm -hmm. I think sixth grade I was still like dumb and I couldn't remember anything. Probably be like that. You know, but, no, yeah, I I met you through Chris. Yeah, we met. Yeah, through, it was in middle school. It was in middle school. Yeah, I know for sure we met in middle school. Yeah. I don't know what grade. I, th I was probably seventh. Seventh. But for sure we seventh. knew each other by eighth grade. Seventh. Yeah, so yeah it was me seventh. Me and go way back to the trenches. Seventh grade. Yeah. Back in the day. Crazy. Yeah, I type my mic Hold on. You don't keep talking. Man, that's um, seventh grade, and then I met Chris first, and then I met you, and then that's where I met uh, our humble Edgar here, and then that's where I met Jose. And then through Jose, I met who did I meet? Like a, a bunch of other dude. Mexicans. It was crazy. It was like we actually had our own Mexican <clears throat> crew back in middle school. Back oh, in middle school. I remember. I remember that. And lunch or lunch, lunch during lunch. Yeah, lunch it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think during eighth grade. Uh, nah, that's the wildest year. I ain't okay. Eighth grade. Okay, I low key liked middle school a little bit more than like high school because. I feel like we did a bunch of more dumb stuff in middle school. I mean, like, people usually do. I have plenty of stories from like from uh, when middle school I went to. Yeah. And like we all can keep talking, but like I, there's some crazy. I, I'm gonna see how many of the stories that you know about. Like right, for sure, for sure. From middle school or <clears throat> yeah, from middle school. You can keep talking about yours though. I'm still fixing. I mean, there's nothing really more to yeah. say except like like there was like kind of a few big instances, but like some stuff I really I don't kind of want to talk about. Yeah. Or, but like that's not really on topic of today. Yeah. Like, what we really want to. Discuss. I mean, that could be like later on. Yeah, have, later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like uh, the biggest thing that I would say happened at my middle school. Uh, <laughs> a little warning it's, it's gonna get a little graphic uh, I don't know if you heard about the two guys it was our 8th grade year and they uh, fucked a goat oh wait like, hold on <laughs> wait, what school you go to uh, um, yeah they, they uh, so, so uh, I'll just say like Andy and Bob so like Bob's uncle had yeah. like a farm yeah. and shit like about like an hour away and one year, like the, one, Bob was in like seventh grade and like Andy was in like eighth grade. And mm. they thought it'd be funny to go like take a video of them like tying down a goat, school shooter shit basically, right? Like tie down a goat or whatever. Yeah. And then they took it like a video of it. And uh, Bob was like, or Andy was like, it'd be funny if like we fucked it. So they fucked the goat on camera. <laughs> Bro, I never heard of this. Yeah, this right. homie is not joking, bro. <laughs> no, no, he's like, wow. He's so, no, he's serious. He said it'd nah. be funny. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, it's not like, funny. It's just like that was like the craziest bro thing that said happened. POV bro. on a goat. <laughs> That's crazy. That happened in your middle school. Yes, yes. And what's crazier is that it was a big thing for like maybe like a month, and then it just like passed. <laughs> nah, okay, dude. look. All right. <laughs> I've heard of girls going to town on their dogs, but I have never heard two dudes going <laughs> into town on a Pro goat. Say, let me have to a be fair, it might have been a sheep. I don't might, know. I guess, it might have yeah, been a sheep. It might have been a sheep. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not 100%. I don't so remember. So, like, do you remember what happened to them? Like, what happened to the goat? Like, the nothing. Fuck? I think they, like, fucking killed it. Not, bro, they, they, made, they didn't kill it, but, like, like his because it was a farm and shit, so it's like they kill it for the meat. Bro, they eat tacos. Hell, I do not want the meat, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> they can, tacos. They can keep that meat. Uh, they had um, some, like, some yeah. lingo or something. I got you. That's wild. Yeah, that was that was like probably the craziest thing that happened. There's like some other like random stuff, like more like uh, like specific stuff. Like you know, like Big Tommy, like Tommy Rodriguez. Oh yeah, Tommy yeah. Though? So like he went yeah. to he went to our middle school, and you know Devin, right? Uh, like the one we hang around with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like uh, there was one year, as eighth grade, we were seventh seventh or eighth grade. We were in science class, and Devin like he was like notorious for just being ashy all the time. Like when we were in I football, remember, I remember. Yeah. I remember. So I don't that. know if the podcast. I don't know if y'all have heard this story, but I'm gonna say it right now because like it was funny because like he wore like the ankle high like white socks, 
and she, like the shit would blend in with the oh, socks. <laughs> so, so like, no. uh, so it was like eighth grade or something. And Devin's sitting there, and he's like putting lotion on, like in the middle of class, and it's like not fixing the ashiness. And then Tommy's like, "Damn, bro, like that shit's not working. Let me see it." And it was like 97% water. Shit was lube. Oh my god. <laughs> so Devin was putting lube on in the middle of class on his ashy ass skin. And his legs are all like shining in the lights and shit. Mm -hmm. And Tommy was like, bro, you got the lube? <laughs> and then the funniest thing, like funniest response ever of like Devin trying to like dampen the blow. He's like, relax, my mom bought it for me. <laughs> bro, no. <laughs> so, so he's putting lube on in the middle of class. And then like Tommy ended up putting some on the floor and like ran and like slid on his stomach. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> no way. I don't know there was a part two <laughs> that the room. Yeah, that, that people don't even talk about that. But like he slid on his wild. stomach in the middle of class. That's crazy, bro. Like on the lube That was middle school, right? It was, it was like, it's like seventh or eighth grade. I don't remember which oh. one it was. No, no, no. It was eighth grade. It was eighth grade. Because seventh grades were like, I almost broke this kid's arm, but that's like a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah that's like a personal. That's that was, crazy. That was a personal thing. Yeah. That's wild. I don't remember anything. I mean, I do remember some things like from our middle school, but I usually kind of like just kept to the group. I know mm. like in eighth grade, I started hanging out with a bunch of like white gr white girls, and that's about it. That influenced your music taste, yeah. Yeah, that that, that I don't know if that influenced my music taste. <laughs> no, nah, that that, 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 that greatly sure, impacted that your sure, music taste. That for Rose sure. Like, Taylor Swift, Melody Martinez. <laughs> that for sure, Brian the Scope. Eminem. No, it just didn't come out uh, until like I hit high school though. But like it influenced like your perception of music, I, and then like I, when no, she came I, out, I would you're say, like, this is peak. No, no, I would say I for sure listened to like 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 Katy Perry and, and Taylor Swift beforehand. Yeah. But if, <laughs> yeah. You, if, you, if you were to tell me like, hey, they like, I guess yeah, it's still kind of like they influenced me, but like they just brightened my scope a little bit more. Mm. They exposed you to what you truly like. Yeah, I guess it what, is what, it if is. what I truly like. Yeah. No, I remember so much from middle school, dog. Like, there's so many, like, funny stories. If the mic's good in the way, you can... No, it's good, it's good. Well, you, you can, like... I don't know if you do that. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah I, um, that's middle school was crazy. I don't know if you remember this candle, too. Um, I don't know if it's appropriate to say here in the bath... Or uh, here. Yeah. Um, let's just say crazy things went in on the bathroom. Let's say school... I'm on high school? No, in middle, in school, middle school. In middle school. It was, uh... Just crazy things went in the girls' bathroom, matter of fact. It was, mm. it was crazy, you know? I want you don't want to too get too, too yeah. specific. You don't get the POV no, of it right now. Say, right? They yeah. just say everything was on Snap. You feel me? Yeah. No, I'm good. But it was. It was <laughs> <laughs> I was like trying to remember the story. You remember, you remember now? I remember. Because <laughs> yeah, like, like you were saying like vague stuff, so I couldn't remember. But like not, uh, you, you said me, Snapchat. Like, oh, shit, I remember. <laughs> that's what I, get I, I remember. Nah, I remember. Nah. Can you like? Can you like? PG thirteen it. <sighs> Okay, okay. We were 13 at that time. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You can say it, but then it'll get cut out if it's too bad. If it's too bad, it will cut it out in post, yeah. It was when Snapchat was around, like, if you had a phone in middle school, mm -hmm. you was you was your shit, you feel me? You was mm -hmm. like, oh, I got a phone. Yeah. Android, iPhone, iPod, whatever. You just If you had a something to record something. Yeah, I did. It's yeah. Snap, 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 snap. That's when it first came out. And I think happened in eighth grade year, more of like the middle of the year, like January around there. Yeah. Um, these uh, uh, girls. It was three of them to be precise. Three? It was three. Yeah. I, it was, I, knew, oh, I knew two of them. It was three. Right, 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 right. It was three. Right, right. So, boom. Feel me? They go to the bathroom. Things happen in the bathroom. Obviously. Things yeah. are being recorded. And things are being recorded, put on the main story, and being sent to everyone. Mm. I, I, I remember that. Yeah, that the I don't know what should we call it, like the three girls one bathroom incident. Or something. Something, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like it's like that kind but of from stuff. What okay. I remember of the story, they did an explicit video, and mm. like it was like so one of the girls was like more developed than the other two girls, and, Usually, so, yeah. and so what they thought would be funny is like, yo, we should like low key like like suck on something like you know like, <laughs> right. and, then, and then from what my knowledge they did that and i think they sent it to one dude and that one dude spread it. i don't know if they posted it on their story but right. i think they sent it to one guy he's like oh yeah this is hot and he was like granted like you know at the time yeah i was like oh that's pretty hot yeah you i know this girl bro but i thought yeah. it was funnier because i recognized two of the girls and one of them was in my class and low-key, after that video, I started trying to become friends with <laughs> Gangsta. And he's out for the slide in, bro. Yeah, she's at the lowest right now. I'm like, yeah, man. It's like sad that yeah. I have like, to do you 
By the way, you can talk to me anytime you want. You I'm, I'm sort of the cry on yeah. right now. <laughs> can I hit them? Yeah. I think I remember her name, but like I, was but I remember names. I remember names. I ain't just gonna be up. I I remember names. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a crazy. Well, because like we had something similar in high school. We were, Worse, actually, in high this school? freshman year, dude. Of course, yeah. Like the like, back of my like, hand, I remember that. So, yeah, like, uh, like, so that one, like, uh, there's actually a lot of people, like, because I was talking to, I think Devin about it. I was talking to someone about it, and like, they don't remember like what, ha like, the context of it. They just know that it happened. Yeah. So uh, there was this girl, and she was like, she liked this guy, and she was like depressed and shit, and she was like uh, relentlessly pursuing him, and he just would not go out with her. He had no interest in her. Must be and then nice. she ended up saying like. If must, you don't fuck me, must be nice. like right now, I'm gonna kill myself. Must be nice. Must be. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. She's like, she's like, you don't, you don't fuck me, like right now, I'm gonna kill myself. So they thought best idea, let's go to the bathroom and have sex. So like they were in the stall, and she was on top of him, and he was like, straight face, bro. He was no emotions, and like this guy busted in and was like, I remember over the exactly stall and shit. what but he's talking about. What's yeah. even funnier though, like that's not even the best part. That shit happened at like you know like 12 o'clock. 12 30 1 o'clock whatever like midday right or no it was earlier it was like probably like 11 or whatever um and school got out at 2 30 and by like 1 o'clock or 1 30 it was like everywhere in our town the surrounding towns my cousin who lives like 30 minutes away knew about it he was texting me he's like hey this is your school right and i was like <laughs> this y'all's bathroom yeah and he's like this y'all's bathroom right and I'm, like, I'm like god damn i know these people what's even funnier the funniest thing they were both in my sixth period class or seventh period class so <laughs> he walks in he's balling bro like everyone's been telling him like you know you know Brushing head up king shoulder, they're yeah. like they're like what's up good yeah, what's like, up? hey take, take this shit right here <laughs> like like they're like king treatment right yeah and she walks in like 20 minutes after class i guess she was like in the counselors or some shit like 20 minutes after class uh started and she just goes in the corner and she has like a hoodie on and she's just like drinking a capri sun she's like in a fetal position like drinking a capri See, sun I and didn't crying know that. i didn't know that. Uh, yeah yeah like cause i, didn't know I had them both in my class okay yeah, so yeah. it's like i'm sitting there like i'm experiencing all this like he's like king of the land right now and she's just like over in the corner crying and i was like loki feeling bad for her but i mean like once I learned, because I talked to him like a couple weeks after, and he told me like the backstory, I was like, that's pretty fucked up. She's like, she's going to kill herself if you don't fuck her? That's pretty fucked up. Like, come on. Just let him bro, feel me? Yeah. 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 I mean, I, in my opinion, it's like you couldn't wait like fucking like three hours to get the fuck out of here, go that's home. Like, I mean, granted, like, damn. In our high school, everyone fucked, it, bro. Like, anything. Like, there was like a stairs. If it moved, yeah. Did it, yeah. Didn't she move? Like, transfer schools? Yeah. She ended up, and then he also transferred, but he came back senior year. Yeah. That I didn't but know. he was like, I don't want to say flamboyant, but like, bro, something. I, it, imagine, like, you know, like the show Glee Club. It looks like he watched Glee Club, took that as his personality, and then like, that was him hey, senior bro. year because he like had the guitar and he had like the bangs, but it was like bleached out because he had black hair, but he like bleached uh, just the bangs. Everything else was black, and he was always just like in the like, cafeteria, like. So he peaked in high school. Basically, he peaked <laughs> in high school. Yeah, he got cooch once, changed his life. That could definitely Bro said <laughs> four years ago. Yeah. yeah. Still holding on to it like I'll yes. never reach that. Yes. High. I mean like bro had like at least three thousand people knowing. Well, he, had clout, feel me? he had clout, feel me? Yeah, clout. He had that he had like the amateur like sky shot going on right there and but it, it was just crazy because that because you were talking about like how like uh Snapchat everyone had it and shit. Because like high school was the same way, because it's like right after middle school and shit. And it's that just was Twitter though. Uh, well, I, I saw it on Snapchat. Oh, I saw it on Twitter. Because I mean, it was probably on Twitter, too. Yeah. But it's just, like, crazy how, like, how fast things spread when we were, like, getting in technology and shit yeah. like that. Crazy, what, crazy. Like, this, uh, that one girl, I forget her name. There's, like, two of them. And they sent nudes to, like, one of the guys in the football team. And it was, like, instantly everyone on the football team had it. And, like, uh, our head coach was, like, okay, we're going to check everyone's phones. If you have it on your phone, you're expelled from school. Like, because you had, like, the principal and shit in there. Because it's child pornography. So like, cause uh, she was like, you know, 14 or 15, we were all 14, 15, but that's child pornography. How old were you guys? 14, 15, 14, 14, 15. but oh. because she's under 18, it's child pornography. So if you have it on your phone, it's a federal crime, oh. regardless of how old you are. So it's like, it was like a big thing, but it, like literally she sent a nude at like 7 a.m. or whatever before school started. Damn, and shit, shit was everywhere at like 8.30. <laughs> like the entire team <laughs> had it at 8. She woke up, like, up said, you woke up, I'm feeling good today. <laughs> I woke up, over the coach, like, damn, I look good. Like, Hold on, oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it was like everywhere, man. Well, that's crazy, that's wild. But no. yeah, technology, man, it's just, it's just crazy how things just spread nowadays. <laughs> See, me, high school, I had a freshman year, 
I had a stuff like that. I had a, like my homeboy had a phone. He had some LG, an LG phone. And he like kept up with everything. He was like, hey bro, you hear about this? I was like, nah, bro. I don't pay attention to that. Yeah. Because at the time I didn't have a phone. Mm. What I was doing, I was using the school computer. Mm, so yeah. like, mm-hmm. like Twitter, I'd be school computer, Instagram, school computer. Um, oh, really quick. Uh, so he doesn't mean like the school computer, like in the library. Uh, at our school, we had like MacBook Airs. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, you could like, you like, yeah, 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 yeah. You rent MacBook. it from, you rent it from the district. So yeah. when he says like school's computer, he wasn't like in the nah, library, like yeah. scrolling on Twitter. He had his own like lap, like laptop. Yeah, laptop, and he was, like, laptop, laptop and boom, shit. boom. Yeah. It was a MacBook. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure they knew that before right, yeah. like thinking about you were just in the library. Like, damn, she got some big titties, bro. It's like, imagine that. No, but yeah, I'd, you know, you know, I was trying to be cool fitting, you feel me? You know, uh, do that and then it wasn't until my homeboy told me hey look this this and this and this and every some something like that would happen in school like there was a fight or something went on i'd always ask him he'd know he's my go-to man you know um especially too one thing i remember when i had my phone one I'm, when was this i think it was junior year no no not junior sophomore year mm-hmm. i finally worked enough where i can buy myself a phone and if y'all, if my people out there know what phone I'm talking about, it's an LG, but an LG had three buttons in the back. The middle button was a power, the, <laughs> the, 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 the power button, and then the uh, volume button up and down. That's it. That's the three buttons you had. Um, and it was an LG, of course, right? And you know, I had my, what was it? My uh, at the time, iPhones were hot, right? And you know, I couldn't afford them, so I had, you know, jug some iphone ear uh what is it what are they called uh like the uh the earbuds or whatever the earbuds yeah. yeah no it was like the connection the wires one. Yeah, yeah wired one i had took one and was like, oh bro bad like you know because i didn't want to have the skull candies <laughs> you want to be like, yeah, right. like bougie yeah, like, i want to fit in yeah i was like fuck you better not know i got a lg and then i'm walking around looking at the time changing a song some 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 dude bumps into me right and uh, in our, in in our school, it was called the rotunda, right? Yeah, Remember yeah. that? Right there in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I haven't and, heard that word in years. <laughs> and then that right there was like it was like a highway. You feel me? People were going left, people were going right. Mm. There was intersection. It was crazy, right? Because they had like the cafeteria, the, cafeteria, the library, the library, office, upstairs. Everything, upstairs, yeah, everything upstairs, was right yeah. there. And then he happens to bump into me, bump into me, and then, boom, my phone fell out of my hands. That motherfucker broke in three pieces, mm. bro. Three pieces, bro. And the the thing that pisses me off to this day is that people had the audacity to kick my shit around. Yeah, people don't like look, looking around and shit. Bro, oh, bro, I feel like I was like, nah, dude, I feel like crying. I'm mm. in life. I feel like crying because I was like, mm. I worked so hard for this damn phone. You know, I had the everything, case everything, but it still happened to break in three pieces. Mm-hmm. The battery. The back case, the back on the front, yeah. dude. Oh my god, bro! What? Today, I still have the phone, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was wild. Yeah, I didn't start using social media like, like I relied every single thing. Well, not every single thing. From like a guy I knew, he was a senior, and he was like, he was the one who showed me on Twitter. He's like, hey, did you see that happen in the bathroom? And I was like, I was like crazy. I was, I was just done taking a shit over there. Bro. <laughs> it was the same bathroom. That's me. Yeah, bathroom. They, I probably walked out as they walked in. <laughs> Yeah. But I didn't use social media a lot uh, freshman year. It was more of like a sophomore year thing where I started using it a lot more. Yeah. Like I had Snapchat, but I didn't use it. I had I had a Snapchat account, but I didn't like use it for anything. But I had a bunch of people's like Snapchat, so I just look at their stories. I didn't have streaks or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't like send messages or anything. I just yeah, you know, I, I, I just had it just to have it. Yeah. And then like that account got banned for something. Like I forget what it was. Like because like I got hacked and then I got it back. But then they thought I was like someone else, I think, and then they just like banned my account, so I had to make a new account. Now, if we're talking about kick, I have kick. <laughs> All right, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, kick, man. See, at the time I didn't have a phone, so I had to use my folks' phone to use Snap and kick. So I'd be like, "Hey, mom, can I use your phone?" Boom, 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 log in. Text, text the homies. You feel me? T- or you know, if I was talking yeah. at the time, I'm talking to a girl, I'd be like, hey, "What's Anything, up? Yeah, what's up? Hey, I got 15 minutes, so let me know now." But she didn't answer until my time was up. <laughs> my homies wouldn't answer until like, "Hey, I gotta go." Text me a couple hours. Yeah. Stuff like that. and then uh, cake. What was it? Uh, snap, snap as well. Mm. I use snap like, cause at the time I was in football, so before my parents would wake up, I sneak in, take the phone. 
Log in and use it. Be like, that's yeah, that's that. I'd that's be, that's I'd, dedication. I'd be, I'd wake up on like <laughs> almost an hour and a half beforehand to use the phone. I'd be like, I right, football practice, going to football practice, or something like that. Something yeah. like, you know, post post um, something you know, update yeah. or whatever. Update, you yeah. feel me? Like it was like Twitter. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Snap was Twitter back in the day for me. Mm. It was wild. I remember to this day too. Everything I do, you know, on Snap, on Twitter too. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. I got. I think we got the first, um, the first taste of the internet. You know, social media. Yeah, like the internet was around, but like social media, social like media. all that we really had was like Facebook. Yeah, but like we that. was but like, like nah. no one fuck with Facebook. Yeah, it was either. always only for old people. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. Yeah. right. Like nah, but it was, it was. Well, first look at everything. You know, yeah. I, I, I still, liked it. I remember when Snapchat first came out, man. And I was watching SNL, and they did, they had like a skit about it. Uh, or like not a skip, it was like the, I don't know if you ever watch SNL, they have like this like uh, pretend news in this show, it's like they do like, uh, like it's actual news that's happening in the world, but they do like a, com like, a, like a comedic twist on it, like, so this oil rig blew up in Saudi Arabia, I guess gas prices are going high, ah, this whole thing, whatever, and they talk about Snapchat, and it was like, yeah, there's this app, apparently you could send photos, and it deletes after 10 seconds, so guys, <laughs> send your dick pics, get it ready, send it, Shit's gone in 10 seconds. You're good. And I, just remember, I remember that. And I remember thinking, like, that's BS, bro. They ain't gonna be nothing like that's, that. Hold on. Let me every, every, I, I, was, I was like, everything's, everything's Facebook, bro. Like, it, it's for old people and shit. And then, like, that came out. And then, like, Instagram was right after. And Twitter's been around for a while, but like, it wasn't yeah. really that big back then. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't yeah. So it's like, it kind of, like, pushed everything forward, you know? It's stepping stone. Exactly. To something. You know, it was. Especially, like, growing up with Snapchat, that shit was crazy, dude. I still have my same Snapchat username since uh, sophomore year. No, I changed mine. Mine used to be cringy, and then I changed what it. What was to... it? Oh wait, 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 no, 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 no. I think I remember. I mean, I, uh, it was a, it was my uh, PS uh, PSN username. Oh, you it's know still what? it still is. It still is. Yeah, but I changed it to like uh, I changed it to the. Uh, I mean, I'll say it. You can bleep it out if you want. It's Eddie for Ready. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's like your classic one now. Yeah, that's like my uh, my username yeah. for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of like back in the day, this kind of like brings me like the topic of I really wanted to talk about, like specifically with you, <clears throat> because just like I said, that one story I told you before, it's it's kind of how anime used to be very like, not necessarily counterculture, but it wasn't at, like nearly as big. You're weird if you watch anime. It was lame and, as fuck. It was lame as fuck. Like the only thing that was maybe acceptable was like Dragon Ball, because like everyone kind of fucked with Dragon Ball, so it was like, like it's it's cool, whatever. Like everyone watched Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. Maybe Naruto is like the pushing it too mm -hmm. like and this is like you know freshman year like i remember uh because we had the the laptops and i was watching like whatever the fuck i was watching. it was like black clover or naruto whatever the fuck i was watching at the time and like manny come up and he's like hey bro is that like naruto and i'm like i'm like yeah i remember i think i remember it i think it was uh on our way during pra go to practice probably right? yeah most it was likely. in the hallway yeah, I most think, likely dude, yeah i think i remember because like you because uh, i was watching it and i was like yeah yeah and like people were walking by and i was like you you watch you watch naruto and you're like Shh. Up, man, like, don't yeah, tell nobody. I, I, I ain't trying to have nobody know I watch an anime yeah, and shit. I remember, I remember that. <laughs> and it was like, it was like a running thing. And like, Devin has his own shit too. Like, we used to do that, like, as well. And I just, it's not like a diss on you. It's just like the culture that it was back mm -hmm. then. It was just like weird to watch anime. But like, I've been watching shit like that, like Pokemon, Beyblade, Digimon, ever since I was like a little kid. Mm -hmm. Like, I grew up with all that shit. Yeah. Like, even like cartoons, like Adventure Time, regular show, Ben 10, all that shit. So it's like, for me, it wasn't just like, you know, anime. It was like a cartoon. Right? It was just a card. Like, I used to watch Dragon Ball on fucking Nickelodeon and shit. Like, because that's what it was on. I'd watch it on Channel 7 every Saturday mm. morning. But, I, like, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it, it, it didn't feel weird for me, but I knew there was, like, this, this, like, stigma. Like, people thought, thought it was weird and shit. So I just want to kind of talk about how, like, over, like, less than 10 years, it's gone from being taboo and weird to talk about anime to now it's, like, it's in everything it's in fortnite it's in overwatch it's in like apex. fucking like apex you like, know some designer brands everywhere. actually collab designer too. like designer? gucci collab uh, collabed with uh one piece like uh Adidas. i don't know if you're a jojo's bizarre adventure yeah. uh the the, uh, the manga iraqi he's had shit in the louvre which is like in france where like the mona lisa and shit's at mm -hmm. he's had artwork there and it's yeah. like it's become such a big part of culture nowadays like it's almost weird if you haven't seen an anime yeah you're, oh, like, you don't watch when you're our age it's like bro you ever seen you ever seen like attack on titan that's crazy. is that that weird anime bro shut the fuck up bro you know it's cool like it's like it's, it's, it's weird to not watch it now so i just yeah. wanted to kind of talk about like 
our experiences with it back then and like now and kind of just how it's shifted that like the culture has shifted towards favoring anime this it's a crazy i think i view it as yeah i'm, I'm gonna be honest i think i consider myself like uh not an og og because i know there's people out there forever ago yeah you know watching stuff in the like 80s speed racer like yeah. speed racer you know uh, like uh the, the initial, initial dragon D, ball initial, initial D, D, like that, original yeah. dragon ball you know stuff like that um but you could say you know i'd I've been a, a watcher for for a long time for a long time, yeah. you know, and like he like he was saying, you know, about the whole hallway thing. Hey, you watch anime, boom, 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 and I'd be like, bro, chill. Like bro. keep it on the it's DL, like, don't tell nobody. Yeah, Stop, like you feel me? Like especially too, I I saw it as a uh, you're a uh, how can I say like you're um, it's kind of like you're thinking of like there's that like weeb who watches anime and they're like super cringe like the cringe anime yeah, kids cringe, are like yeah, naruto yeah. run down the hallway yeah, and they smell like ass yep, and it's yep, like yep, that yep, and yep. that's like what's that smell you, you think yeah like, what's that smell like <laughs> hey yo, put your armpit down put your arm down like yeah like, yeah you know yeah. it stinks whatever and it's like take a shower but it's like that was what was associated with it back then yeah you know what i mean so i think that's kind of like what you're going for right mm -hmm. it was you know i think what was the first thing i ever watched oh man uh i know for me it was definitely pokemon See, I tried getting into that, but I was like, damn, too many Pokemon. What yeah, the fuck? Too many trainers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta memorize bro, this shit. Bro, bro, bro took 20 years to become a champion. Bro, I could have done it in one set. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, nah, it's because, like, my my, uh, my dad had a DS, mm -hmm. and uh, it was, like, my like fifth birthday, because it got to the point where, like, he just wouldn't play it anymore, so I played on his DS, and then uh, they bought me, like, uh, they bought me Pokemon Ruby, which is, like, Gen 3. Um, so then I would play Pokemon and then I like, I also collect the cards too. So it's like, you know, I mow the lawn or whatever, get some money. I run to the store, get a pack of Pokemon cards, open it up, whatever. Dang. And I had like a binder and I'd like collect them and shit. Oh, gee. So it's like, I would like, and then I, I found the, the, it's actually an anime, but I used to just think it was a cartoon. Right. So I'd watch that shit and then like Digimon and like Beyblade, all that shit. Bro, and I Digimon. just thought, I thought it was like cartoons. Because yeah. I fuck with them heavy, and then yeah. I found Dragon Ball, and for me it was just a cartoon. But now it's like, oh, they're not just like childish. Because at this point I was like, you know, I was still a kid, but I'm like 10, 11, and I'm like, Pokemon's kind of childish. But like this, they're actually like fighting. Like this is so cool. I'm gonna watch more of this. Yeah, you know, they're punching each other. Like they're actually yeah. punching each fighting. other. There's blood. Fighting. Like like it's what? it's badass. It's like it's like watching boxing, but like I'm not gonna like yeah. sit through the whole like you know all the boring shit before and then watch it. You know, mm -hmm. it, it was just so fun for me. You know. So it, it, it kind of just never was weird for me. I forget what I was going with that, but like, I just remember it, it's always just kind of like been there. You, for me. you basically just grew up with it. I grew up yeah. with it, yeah. So I'm from the day one. You're yeah. not like a, ooh, I'll watch it. It's, 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 it's a big thing now. Yeah. yeah. I, to this day, I don't really know what like anime, like the first anime I watched. I say it's Dragon Ball, but it could have easily just been like Inunasha. Something weird, something yeah. Something like that. But I did know for a fact that like um growing up, like uh they have it they have it now. It's called like the Dragon Box. I'm not sure if they still have it actually. But basically that's like all like Dragon Ball Z, like not Kai. It's like all like nine or actually no like twelve seasons of it. All the way to like from Saiyan to Majibu saga. Yeah. And apparently, my sister told me we had the VHS version of it, really? like because my cousin gave it to us, and we would just watch it uh, over and over again. That's like how I got into Dragon Ball because I was watching it like since I, I can't even remember yeah. since the beginning. But I also do remember staying up. Like I say late, but in reality, like if you're five, eight thirty. Yeah, it's probably eight thirty. I would keep it a buck with you. Yeah, and then. uh and like we would stay to watch Inunasha, and I was like, dude, like this, like this dude with a giant ass sword killing these demons, I'm like that's cool. That's like berserk. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I, which one's that one? Uh, Inunasha. Yeah. Inuyasha. Well, no, Inuyasha. Uh, he didn't have a big sword. He was like the. Yeah, it was called the Tetsaiga. No, because he had a katana. But it turned into the. Oh, Tetsuga. it transformed oh, into the guy it. with the white hair. Yeah, he had yeah. the long white right, hair. Right, right, yeah, right. I, yeah. remember, I, remember, I saw remember, that. Remember. I remember. I remember watching it, and like, because I would stay up, like I said, like you said, like oh, I would stay up late, which is rather probably like nine o'clock. Shit. <laughs> when they showed it, Demon on Tsunami. Time. Yeah, I watched the Tsunami and shit. That's but like, it was funny because no, I would watch shit. it. I would watch it out of order because like one one day I'll watch it, and then like the next day it'd be like oh like uh where did like some uh, random part of the story. Yeah, you like, watched episode four, and I got like episode fifty. Uh, but anyways, Dragon Ball, like with the with the box sets, they get the VHSes. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, right, I was right, just right. saying like that's how I watched it from the uh, the very beginning. It was on VHS, so that's like old, that was like old school from like the nineties yeah. or whatever. 
He had to re- rewind it to watch it again. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, yo, you see that Vegito kick? My sister would be like, nah, like, take out the tape, rewind it. <laughs> you gotta get that pencil, <laughs> and you're like, you're like <laughs> so I got the screwdriver. Hold on, let me go back. I don't know what happened to him, but we don't, I don't have him in my position anymore. I have the DVD set now. It'd be cool if you did have him, the VHS. If you did, I'd be like, I would like still have him. Like, I mean, I would still have him, obviously, but I would still watch him sometime if I had a VHS player. But it was, it was either that or Ian Asha. I would just stay up and like, when I think it was late, but it'd be nine o'clock, and I'd be like, yo, I wanna watch that one show with the dog. And like with the giant sword and that one dude with the hole in his hand mm. and that one fox boy thing. I still don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I didn't watch. I just remember um, with Toonami, I like fell asleep and I woke up and it was on. And like, I, I now know that it was One Piece. But like back then, it was like this like uh, uh, like big giraffe guy. And he was like slapping around these people like with his neck. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's so <laughs> So random. but like like now like one piece is like one of my goats so it's like obviously i've seen that scene and I, I like as soon as i saw it i was like i was like eddie right right there with the conversation with that i was like <laughs> yeah. i was like remembering everything that happened and it was just crazy just watching that comes back to- <laughs> it was it was like the memories oh, like rushed through my head i was like giraffe he's hitting people <laughs> oh it was crazy just going through that tsunami uh tsunami i don't think Nah, bro. I, I used to slept, bro. Cartoon Network would end. Go to sleep. Yeah, that I'm was, going to yeah. sleep. That was basically the bedtime. Bro, it scared me going like, cause I remember too vividly. It would be eight thirty or nine. Cartoon Network would end. You'd be like nine. And I think it was nine. Yeah. And going to Cartoon Network to uh, like usually King of the Hill, but it's yeah, like Adult Swim. King of, adult, swim. adult Swim. It was Adult Swim, bro. Oh, I remember. So it was, I think it was a Saturday. No, it was a Friday night. So we didn't have school the next day. We would go to sleep whenever we want. My folks would sleep, you know, work, whatever. And then I remember this too. Oh my God. I think our, to this day, it haunts me. Going, I remember too, because at Cartoon Network, the voice would be like, hey, we're now, you know, it's over. It's over. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow starting at 7 a.m. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. He says that. And then it's a black screen. And then you see the two like parentheses. Type like deal. the AS. AS. Yeah. But then it'd be quiet for like two minutes, mm. just silence. You can hear the the um, the room being quiet. Yeah. You could hear like your the white noise. You, you can hear it. Yeah. You can hear it. It's just like you just uh, like, you're like yeah. I, that's the thing that trauma. It's just and, eerie. Yeah. yeah. You know, growing up too, especially dark. You know, nine thirty, ten. I'd be like, bro, nah. Fucked you up. It it messed me up. I'm like, yeah. we sleeping with the light on tonight. <laughs> it, 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 you know, I never watched anime on that either. You know. Um, it was more of, I think, at the time we had some like the thing that you can record. So what we do, we'd record from when adults room would start, and it would end in the morning, and we'd go back. Okay, boom. Watch this. Robot watch this, watch this. chicken. It'd be uh, a tech on t- or not tech. It'd be One Piece, and then we'd find Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And we would cut everything else but that Dragon Ball Z episode. So mm-hmm. we would start from the beginning cut from the previous before that and then end it and that, that's how we would watch dragon ball z like every morning that's how dedicated we were dedicated to watch to the craft it. yeah yeah we were like okay there's an ad skip that delete it and then boom we would mash him up into one whole episode but it, you know yeah that's how it was you know so you know growing basically, up basically you was making amvs i was like, <laughs> i was i was you know we was getting crafty because Dragon Ball Z would come out at three in the morning. We, yeah, we'd be, yeah, really, really we'd be really dead asleep. I was dead asleep, you know. Um, not, you know, I didn't want to, you know, at the time. Now I can sleep till like four, but anyways, yeah. yeah. Um, nah, stuff like that, you know. What was it? The other thing that too popped up. I think it was Blade Blade. Beyblade? Yeah, Beyblade, like whatever. in the mornings, yeah. Yeah, but it was like, it wasn't the Pegasus one. It wasn't the Pegasus. Yeah, they had like different It kinds, was yeah. the one before that one. Mm. It's like, I forgot his name. He has a... Hat, it's backwards. Yeah, it's backwards, like his hair is sticking out. Yeah, it's sticking out of it. And then he has some green gloves. Mm -hmm. Some like lines on his cheek. That's like the that's like the OG Beyblade. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Because there was a Beyblade that came out in the nineties. Wait, didn't you just describe Ash? Ash Ash Ketchup? No, 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 no. Uh. It's it's it was Beyblade because like they had like a. Because like you know the Beyblades like when we were kids it was like the thin metal ring. Yeah. But those Beyblades that you're talking about it was like this big and it was like plastic. And it was like basically like a big ass top yeah. and you'd spin it. Uh-huh. And like uh that was like the OG from like the late nineties. I forget what it's called. It was though. Gangster, I didn't even bro. know Babel was around in the nineties. Yeah, yeah. it was gangster, bro. That's I remember I wanted one for the longest time until that wasn't until 
the one with Pegasus. Mm. That's when I started getting more into it, like El Drago, El Capricorn. All that shit, yeah. You know, um, stuff like that. I remember, you know, I'd save up money and... Give me a Beyblade. Give me a Beyblade, <laughs> you know. You know, it's, it's crazy to think that watching it growing up can, like really i don't know how to impact explain. you impact like, it, may, you like it, it makes it makes like an impression on you yeah yeah you know i remember i was going crazy I, you know i'm gonna be honest i'd go to the store that's the first thing i do I'm like, hey mom i'm going to the store i'm going to uh toys you know there's a shopping and then somehow some way i'd always come home with one you know I, it was like very i don't i don't you know it, or like you just know it i know it right it's because yeah. like you were there i was you, there you, you had to it. be there to, I don't know, it's, and there's yeah. so many times too where it's like you go looking knowing that you're not gonna get shit but you're like i just gotta see if like what they got here like, oh bro they got this one they got this, this oh this look at this that. they got this right here bro yeah. and it's like and your parents are like hey can i get one they're like nah fuck bro. Get the fuck out of here, especially bro. especially i remember this too <clears throat> there was this piece that came out it was galaxy galaxy pegasus mm. he was blue because mm. i think it was his form evolved the form i don't know i remember yeah yeah but the thing with him, the only cool, you know, thing that rare, the, the thing that was rare about him is that he had a, like a, like a rubber tip to spin, mm. right? But the thing with that is every time you spin it, it like gets smaller and smaller yeah, and smaller, yeah. you know? And then there was also El Drago. Mm. I don't know if you remember El Drago. Yeah, he spins backwards. Spins backwards, yeah, dude. He was like. He would steal the spin. Yeah, steal the like, spin. Like I saw, I remember watching, cause I, like, I thought it was like an anime only thing. And like, I've seen videos like, bro, that's like El Drago just sitting there and someone like hits it with another spinning Beyblade and you see it start coming back to life and start spinning. Like it actually steals the spin. I'm like, that shit's fucking insane. Because of the tip, I think the yeah. tip and the... Uh... It's the tip and then like on the metal ring, there's pieces of rubber. So when it hits it, the rubber like absorbs the hit and mm -hmm. then it keeps spinning. So it was like, it was insane. Well, that's science-y right there. This, there's science. this other one too I had. I think it was um, a Capricorn. Yeah, you like, like this the goat, slanted tip. Slanted tip. Yeah, you you throw him in, in the arena. You just be pop, 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 pop. But like his stamina was like ass though. It was ass, yeah. It was like ten seconds. Pop, 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 boom. Because like what it's meant to do is like jump on top of another one and hit it to the ground, which causes it to spin out, and it, it like that other one loses. I wasn't I wasn't into a baby like that. I had a whole case, bro. I was yeah. I was heavy into it. That, I was that too, and, bro, and, uh, really It was like I was blame, I was in that before anime. Yeah, which I didn't know was that what you know being in that was anime. Now yeah. I think about it, maybe like because like because we were kids and they're toys and we love toys as kids. Yeah. That's how it marketed. Like you buy the toy, you see. Well, the I mean show. that's that's just the thing about the sh like a lot of the shows. It's just marketed like it, the show is there only to sell the toys. It's yeah. product placement. Yeah, like Pokemon, uh, the games came first, so they made the anime to sell the games and then to help like because the anime was popular. So like, okay, well. Let's help sell the games more. Let's just make cards because like Yu-Gi-Oh was getting big. So like, hey, let's just make like Pokemon cards, and they can have whatever Pokemon they want, and we can make yeah. special cards and all this stuff, like the like the special Charizard or whatever. And then it's like get them a trade, which gets them to buy the game or watch the anime. And it's it's like a cycle. They get yeah. into one thing, so they have three different things you can get into it, and then it's like it forces you into everything else. Quick, quick math. They smart, bro. For real. Yeah. And then, really and then you up. then you draw a pot of greed. Yeah, yeah. Like some another <laughs> part of greed. You feel me? Yeah, like another that, part of greed. That's crazy, bro. I know they're smart because I didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. I still got the cards. Exactly. You, still, you end up with them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did too. I remember this too. Uh, at the time, there, I know there's different series. I remember too. I had a what's his face, the uh, blue eyes white dragon. But oh, it yeah. wasn't. Oh, it wasn't one. It was a three headed one in one card. Oh, so it's the it's the blue eyes ultimate dragon. Yeah, and he yeah. had all the stars. Yeah, it like, was like so twelve much, stars. Yeah, twelve yeah. stars. And I remember too this one card I had. It's called they, they were called the Mystical Heroes. Mm -hmm. I had I remember I had this one card. I remember so too vividly. It was like it was red, gray, blue, and yellow. And there'd be the like a it was like a Power Ranger type deal. There was this one guy just in the middle, all colors, twelve stars, like insane attack. You know, I also had a, oh, your th it was a purple card. I think it was purple. I'm it not was sure. purple because uh, there's a there's a Yu-Gi-Oh because I'm. I was into Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. So it's like, um, I also played like the game in high school, like the I, video I didn't, game yeah, shit I didn't play on the it, phone. Yeah. yeah. But uh, there, there's a card. It's like a, you have to fuse like five dragon types and it's, it's the, uh, the five headed dragon. It's like 12 stars, 5,000 attack, 5,000 defense. Mm -hmm. And it has like a dragon with five heads and it's like fire, water, ice, dark. And it's like, they're all the different colors and I shit. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. The, um, the I'm talking about Mr. H the hero. Uh, well, because that wasn't a hero, but like the way you described the car is what it reminded yeah, me of. Yeah, it was, like it was something like that. But you, to get him, 
to summon, you just can't. Oh, I summon him. You feel me? Yeah. You had to summon like different parts. And then like there was an arm, yeah. there was a leg, there was Exodia? a head. Well, there's Exodia, yeah. but I don't think you're talking about Exodia. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. Exodia was... was the one that was like, one card was his head, one card was just his arm, one card was his leg. I don't. I don't but if you get all five, you instantly win the game. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's like if you get all five pieces of Exodia in your hand, you just show it and you just win the game. No that's, matter what, you win the game. That's broken. It is broken, but that's why like uh, it became like the big thing in like tournaments of like pot of greed that's why pot of greed got banned yeah because people would put because you, you can only have one copy of, of like the head because you have to have the head both arms and both legs so it's five cards but you can only have one of them in your deck because if you have two, if you have like a whole deck full of them you just win that's not fair what? so it's like see. they would pull it pot of greed draw two cards okay this card lets me draw another card okay pot of greed i can draw more cards and they can just keep doing that until they have all the cards in their hand and they just win the game no matter what Oh, what? Yeah, it was. That's full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? That's yeah. wild. I no, didn't know that. Yu-Gi-Oh gets pretty like pretty nah. crazy. Like there was a, there used to not be because like now like in tournaments the deck the maximum amount of cards you can have in your deck is sixty. They used to not have a max limit, so there was these guys that pulled up twelve thousand cards, and every single card in the deck was you get to take a card from your any card like whatever specific card you want from your deck. But the thing is in Yu-Gi-Oh in most like card games. When you like look at your deck to take a card, you have to shuffle it. So they would play a card, pick the top card of the deck, and then have to take five people 20 minutes to shuffle the entire stack. And then he would draw the next card, play it. And it was just to like basically time out the other person because there's a time limit. So it's like he would just win by time. And like that, that's when they made the card like, okay, you only have 60 max. That's all you can have. Because like the guy showed up, I, I can show you the picture later, but it's like there was two guys in like suits. And they had like a cardboard thing and it was like at least eight feet long and they were just holding it like this and that was every single card they had in their deck that's wild it uh, was insane i just remember about the whole Yu-Gi-Oh thing that reading this article that the tournaments like everybody would stink yeah that's, what I, that's it what was so bad it's mostly like, like yeah. they said they said they would do a stink check they would smell you yeah before going in the tournament if you smell bad you can't play if you, yeah if you smell bad or you see like just horrible hygiene or smell whatever yeah whatever it is know, whatever if you just look Greasy as fuck. You can't play. You're all right, bro. Next. Yeah. I thought that was pretty funny. And then that's when they started like, like you said, you know, um, uh, putting products out like there were Yu Gi Oh shampoo. Yeah. You know, they would like, they, no, they would. They, they, they like they market would. it. The market is so stuff. Stinky dudes, bro. That's why I don't watch anime no more. I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, it's just product placement. Like the same shit with like, oh yeah, they put like Attack on Titan and Fortnite. And what did that do? Eduardo and Devin both went straight to Fortnite and started playing Fortnite together. No way. Because they put like, if you watch, I mean, you have the Attack on Titan high. Yeah, I'm glad. It's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. Yeah, yeah, but but I'm assuming you've seen Attack on Titan, yeah, right? I so you know they have like the ODM gears that like yeah. they can like fly around and shit. That's in the Fortnite game. So you can get that and you can fly around the buildings. For real? Yeah. Nah, um, the time I came back is when, when Goku was in the game. When Goku was in the game. That's, that's when I came back and I bought um, <laughs> my little broski too. I remember him. He's like, dude, look. Goku's in the game. I was like, cap. Mm. I look, bro. It's Goku. Uh, was it Bulma too? No? Bulma, Vegeta, Bul Beerus. Yeah, Beerus. Yeah, yeah. I remember I spent uh, like a hundred and some bucks buying my set. <laughs> yeah, my set and his set. <laughs> and then I haven't played it since. I haven't played the Attack on Titan one. Didn't play that one. Because uh, they like the My Hero yeah, one. My Hero one. I didn't play yeah, that one they either. They also like back when like Infinity War and shit came out. They had, like the. Oh, I like, I'd play, play that every day. Yeah, <laughs> with that Thanos. Yeah, Thanos, man. You know. Not yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, it's like games like Fortnite. They're like, oh, okay. I could be wrong, but for, to my knowledge, Fortnite was the first one to like implement that. I know Apex. I believe did it, it was like no, to Apex, majorly implement. Apex did it, yeah. but it was like bootleg. Like they weren't. It wasn't called like Naruto. It was called like like uh, Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, it, if, you, if you played Apex, you would know exactly what I'm seeing because I saw my homie play Apex, and I was like, "The fuck that is," and and I was like, "I was like, is that Naruto?" I was like, "Oh no, they can't get the rights to it, so it's just called like like uh, Chosen Ninja." It's obviously a Naruto ripoff, yeah. and they couldn't afford it. Yeah. But it was games like that, like this. Um, that I feel like it wasn't the main reason, but it started. That's the reason why anime became more popular. Also, I think it's because like because people grew up watching Toonami, they always they already had an idea. It wasn't like your parents, like you know, like by the time like Speed Racer came out, they were already what like twenty or something like that. Mm. They're already doing other things like playing Mortal Kombat or anything like that, or like actually getting jobs. Yeah, see, like my theory has to like 
because I think it's actually like the flip. The reason why they do that is because anime got popular. Because like I think like growing up, like I said, like it was viewed as like either you like you watch it, you smell bad, you stay in your room all day, you stink, like, you pour like, all this shit, right? Or it's just childish animes for kids. It's just a cartoon, right? And like from my parents' perspective, the only reference they have for like cartoons that aren't for kids is like The Simpsons, like maybe Family Guy. But then it's like those are comedies. So it's like if you're watching a cartoon that's not a comedy, it feels like it's for a kid mm. because it's like, oh, well, I'm used to the Simpsons, like adult humor. And if it doesn't have adult humor, then it's not for adults. Right. So then it's like we grow up with like not thinking that because for us, it's just another show. And then it's like it gets so big. And then all these brands come in like, well, like, hey, look, like they fuck with they fuck with Dragon Ball, they fuck with Goku. And they also play Fortnite. So easy money, put Goku in Fortnite. And then yeah. now we got the money coming in. And then like once Fortnite, because I do think Fortnite probably was, to my knowledge, one of the first games to kind of like start popularizing, bringing in just not even just anime, just like any kind of collab. I know Wario talks about like Payday and stuff, but like Fortnite was like the first like big, big one. Oh yeah, um, that's what you meant. So it's like they brought in a lot of other types of medias, like movies, animes, other games, whatever. And then people got excited about it so then other companies were like oh shit like fortnite's making a shit ton of money selling the goku skins let's put like fucking one punch man in overwatch you know what i mean it's, it's stuff like that so it's like they led they uh blazed the trail for every other company to come in and be like yeah let's put, like other anime shit in the game yeah well i think it's all like like it's also that um Social media has gotten bigger, and people mm. like I forgot, Bella Porch, like she loves the like, anime content, Demon Slayer, yeah. or I don't know, I don't watch Bella Porch like that, but like she like celebrities getting yeah, into celebrities it. get into it. Even then, I remember Snoop Dogg, like there was a tweet or something like he said Gogeta is a real G or something like that. Yeah, like celebrities like are into it, and you know people love celebrities, so they're gonna be like, oh, they like it. I'm gonna just try to if Snoop, Snoop Dogg says Gogeta is cool, I want to see what Gogeta is about. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. he has a big influence. Mm. Yeah, and like. And like, uh, as more social media comes around, like TikTok, that's where I think it really, really blew up. For sure, for sure. That's because, where it's like, it got more popularized into culture. Yeah. I guess you could also say that like, um, like Demon Slayer, like the art style, like the animation is really, really good. So that it's also easier for someone to get into that anime. Yeah. Which like I, I've never finished it. I've been told it was good by people who watch it, so I'm gonna just say it's good. But like, it seems like a really easy like first starter anime to it get into. It usually is. If yeah. you like, probably never seen like you know like Sailor Moon or anything like that. Mm. Like I would say like, yeah, I like, I'd agree. Like nowadays, it probably is like one of the better ones to get people into. Yeah. Like for me, I like to like kind of tailor. Like if someone asks me like, hey, I'm trying to get into anime. What should I watch? I'm like, well, like what if, what else do you play games? Do you watch anything else? Like what kind of movies you like? Kind of get like a feel for their tastes, and then it's like, okay, well. Mm -hmm hey you seem to like action like go watch demon slayer or whatever or it's like you like sports a lot go watch haiku and they play volleyball and shit so it's like kind of tailor it with that way yeah i get i think you go like um i'm not sure if i said this like oh yeah or i brought up the animation but also like anime i think has changed quite a bit yeah there was like story driven anime like death note back in the day but like mm -hmm. if like dragon ball for example you're people who watch dragon ball kind of just want to watch it because like, you know like goku beats the guy and like yeah that's what i want to see i want to see guys go fight i, I want to see goku win and then i want to see something crazy happen like the universe gets destroyed that's what i want to see yeah but then you have these like uh shows shows that come out like demon slayer or like even the uh, like my hero they have like a like a interesting world building that like shows the shows the viewer that like oh there's more to this than especially just my fights. hero because like uh my hero is inspired by uh like marvel comics yeah and so if people like oh i love watching iron man well watch the show like it's basically the japanese version of like the avengers yeah but there's like you know more stuff to it Damn, like, i didn't think it like that bro whoa that's wild that's yeah that's that's what i think <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what i think that happened to anime and that's low-key the reason why i don't really watch a lot of anime. It, despite what people might have said on this podcast i do watch all right i, I do watch anime but not all, as much as i did way back when bro it's, we didn't have lives but it's cool work or not even work it'll be school home and then maybe work depending on like maybe you, work yeah. if you, depending on your situation yeah you know um me it was i don't give a fuck dude i watch it in class i'm gonna be honest bro but it i'd be like in if, the corner in like, the corner right right yeah. if, if it wasn't you know 
Dude, oh my god. I don't remember who was it. Uh, oh, homeboy Eduardo here. Dude, oh, okay. Oh, I, I had him. Bro, I had I had Eduardo, Devin, Jose all in the same class. It was six period. Uh and there was uh a oh, homegirl there too. Um uh, I forgot her name. Uh so Eduardo, first row, third seat. I remember at the time. I knew I knew about anime. I kept it low key, but him, yeah. he embraced that shit. That's what you know. Props to my dog. You feel me? You yeah, know, he, he was always with it. You know, yeah. he he was with it. You know, I don't give a fuck. So what? What you gonna do about it? Me, I was like, nah, man, I don't know. But him, I remember watching it. I, I think I have videos on my snap. He would watch. He was watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Dude, I I feel like you sent me that. I saw that. I was yeah. like, I was like, this man right here still watching bro, JoJo in, bro, the, in and, the middle of class. Yeah, no, and he, bro, and that's the thing too. When I'd be on, when I'd watch anime, I'd be like, you feel me? Mm. Now he'd be full of life, yeah, full, full full brightness. Yeah, full brightness, leaning back with the earbuds or <laughs> earbuds, you know. And then that'd be oh oh Devin, he'd be like, then Jose, <laughs> Jose would move his desk to the left. Yeah, it'd be like a little movie. Little watch. I was like, that's pretty cool, you know. I wish I could be there. <laughs> yeah, it was. I think I have videos, bro. I have to look them. I, I mean, like, look hey, look. Them. Obviously, we're a big fan of JoJo's. We got the poster right For there. Real? Yeah, like, yeah, like we have like we suck off JoJo's pretty hard on this podcast. Like, so. like we as in like me, Gabe, and Devin okay, and Eduardo. Like, we suck off JoJo's pretty heavy. For real. Like I fuck with it heavy. For real, for real. Like have you never seen it? Like I don't know if you ever no, seen it. No, I have. JoJo's. I stopped watching it, uh, Diamond Crusaders or whatever the freak. Uh, Star Wars. Uh, uh, Star- I stopped Star- watching that one Breakers. guy. You fuck with his hair. He's going like. Yeah, yeah. so that, that's Diamonds that's, Unbreakable. That's part when four. I. That's when I stopped. I said, I'm I said, like, what the fuck is though. up with this color, this animation? Nah, bro, I don't nah, like this. Dude. Nah, I was dude, like, nah. It, had, it has like one of the best villains in JoJo. Okay, I know, I know. What's his name? Dio. Dio. Oh, Dio's in part three, but like part four, it's a serial killer. So they have to they have to catch a serial killer. Uh. I don't know. Yoshikaga Kira. Uh, like his, his stand ability is like bombs. He just makes like he touches something, he touches something, it blows up. So then they, and he's, what he does is like he like, he's like, his kink is like hands. Cause like the story is like when he was a kid, he saw a picture of like the Mona Lisa and he like loved her hands. So then like he would like murder bitches and take their hand. And then when it starts like decomposing, Throw it away, go kill another bitch, take her hand. Damn, that sounds gangster as fuck. And like they have to like catch this guy, but they don't know who he is, but they oh. know he's killing people. So like you should get once you get past the art style, it's like one of the best parts in JoJo. I did see the first episode of the uh, uh, what's her name? Stone Ocean. Uh, the, the, that's with, the new the one. Girl? Jolene, yeah. Jolene, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The reason I watched it, you feel me? Because I heard. She had that jack off scene. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she jacked like, off in the gym. So. Like, that's why I took me the to give the plot. You feel me? It's it's yeah. integral to the plot. And then, so it's and, important. Then, and then I was like, yeah, no, nah, fuck this shit. I don't like the animation. Yeah, it's it's it, it takes no. It wasn't the animation. It was the uh, the whole color, the whole vibe, the whole everything. I fucks with the anim- the animation. It's crazy. It's different, yeah. you know. But it's like the color palettes. The, yeah, bro. The sky stuff, was yeah. purple. What? Yeah, what? I mean that's one of those things though. Like, bro, I like pay attention. I, like, to I always everything. tell people like, if you could like just get past it, the story is like it's that's peak. that's how I the feel too. Peak. That's how I feel. You just got to get past it. Yeah, there's some animes too uh, where um, actually I have a friend of mine. You know, he recently got into anime. Last year, like during October, what is it? Mm. I think he watched the first thing he watched was Dragon Ball, right? Obviously, yeah. obviously. Now, know, yeah. now I go to go to his house. You know, sometimes we watch it. You know, because now a whole you know friend group watches it now. Mm-hmm. You know, because I ain't gonna cap. I told him, bro, watch this. Boom, and then you he put him on game. I yeah. put him on game. Yeah. I put him on. You feel me? I'm like, because I'd talk about it, but he's like, oh no, I don't want anime. But now, it's like his whole room is like. He has the seven Dragon Balls. He has Ultra Instinct Goku there. He has, you know, Goku here, Gohan, Goten. You know, yeah. he has, you know, a bunch of things. Now, you know, I think he's telling me that he's seen, like, uh, Plastic Memories. He's seen Attack on Titan. He, oh, we watched okay. the Attack on Titan season together. It's pretty tight. Yeah. Surround Sound System, Big Ass TV, pretty tight. Yeah. Right. Um, that, um, uh, Hunter Hunter. He's, yeah, that's a good he, one. He, yeah. Uh, Hunter Hunter. He's watching, like, I told him to watch... Uh, animes that are, in my opinion, were are like peak. You know, they're mm-hmm. like if you want to start like real anime, good. Yeah. If you want to start anime, watch this. Yeah. And then if you go off of that, it's gonna branch out into different. Yeah. Well, I'm not feeling action. We can go romance. You go, got the romance route. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm you, not feeling romance. We can romance? fucking go like, like go like mystery, mystery thriller. Yeah, yeah. Thriller. You know. Go like I'm the not, Death Note route. It's like yeah. oh, you gotta catch him. Yeah. Speaking of Death Note, he's actually watching it right now mm. too. Um, um, what also? Oh, he says also watching 
he's gonna watch after he's done with that one is uh tokyo Ghoul. tokyo Ghoul, that's a good one yeah, yeah you know he he's watching anime like i did in high school bro he finished dragon ball z he's from just the, pumping him out yeah dude yeah. from the beginning when he had a tail to what he is now mm. bro he finished it like in two months yeah bro he was grinding He'd well like, it's, it's like it's i noticed that when i put people on anime bro it's like it's like a drug like they can't get enough Yo, of I, it it's I like know. like they they, they they have to constantly take it and take yeah. it and then over time it's like like you know us like yeah like i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling like watching something today i don't gotta watch something but like back then like when you first start watching oh, it it's like it. you can't stop tell watching it. It, bro, it's like it's like it. bro i gotta take a shit i'm gonna take it with me i gotta take a shower put that shit right there like i'm, I'm watching it whatever i'm because you're so addicted to it right yeah and like that's what i try to tell people like when they they don't ever believe me when i say anime is good i'm like Look, if you think it's weird looking, get past the way it looks. Read, like, not read, but, like, listen to the story. Just listen, and you're going to love it. And every time, they're like, bro, I doubted you. And I'm like, not I every, know you did. Don't yeah. worry about it, dog. I ain't taking to take yeah. offense to it. He, he's watching it like I would watch it in um, uh, high school. Like, I remember he hasn't watched, he hasn't seen Naruto yet, but I remember Naruto, too, because a homeboy, uh, uh, I think it was uh, uh, Hansel, he put me on Naruto. Mm -hmm. and, um, but, like, yeah, it was, like, it was uh, Naruto, but... Before that, um, the way I got into anime was um, the High School of the Dead. High School of the Dead. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. the first one I ever saw. Now I could join the conversation. <laughs> Eddie, right, Eddie, 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 <laughs> and then I remember I'm like, dude, what do I watch? I'm like, there's nothing else to watch. And then I see a homeboy here. We're talking about our friend Chris. He was watching. Chris, yeah. He was watching Sao. Oh, yeah, bro. From after Sao, that's what got me into everything. Same here. Sao. Same here. It was Sao. Yeah, he's like, dude, it's like this game where you get stuck, and if you die, you die your life. I'm like, what the fuck? That sounds lit. That's, yeah. I was yeah. like. I like like at the time like people like say like oh yeah like the first season of sao was asked but like middle school us like you know like we're like damn this is really like because we always wanted to get transported into a video game and we see an yeah. anime do that and we're like damn that sounds cool i want to do that throw in the twist where like you die here you die in real life uh, cartoons have done that before but like now it's like full it's not like just like, it gives a it gag. stakes yeah. it's not just a gag you know yeah. it's not one episode it's a whole series just about that exactly but back to what you were saying about uh uh, what was it? Uh, High School of the Dead. High School of the Dead. Like, I say, like, Dragon Ball Inuyasha is my first anime, but if you, like, where I started watching a lot of anime was was when I went on Netflix and I saw this anime called uh, Heaven's Lost Property. And to this day, mm, I say it's, like, one of my favorite animes because I thought, I still think it's hilarious. I rewatch it and I'm like, this shit is still funny. Mm. I even met one of the voice actors when I went to an anime convention. He, he voices the main character, Tomo... Key, I believe. I, I'm, I don't really remember correctly. Let me look this shit up, bro. But I got his autograph on like a little like cup, and I'll. Uh, Greg Harris, that's the voice actor. Mm. I, I love that guy. I love that anime. It was so funny. I also got um, Eric Vaya. He he's voiced another character. Mm. I had him to sign the cup too. I still, that's like my prized possession. I was like, I love bro, that. What? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, that, I'm watching this shit later. <laughs> yeah, it was. It, it's comedy, but it's also etchy. That's yeah. what I, that's what I saw it on. Favorite. Subject, but stop playing. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but there was another anime I really liked. It was called Yamada's First Time. Funny enough, I was watching that with Chris. I put Chris, <laughs> I put Chris on that. Say, no, hey, say what you want, bro. Because we was looking for down to that. Because we was because like all right, I'll admit this is a freshman year. It was like early freshman year. Yeah, like I'll admit like yeah, like if it had titties in it, I was watching it, bro. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, like you're the horny uh, teenager. I, would, I yeah. just got off the tail like watching Heaven's House. Probably I was like I was like on my high. I was like ah oh, damn. I need another one, bro. I don't remember how exactly I found Yamada's first time. I, I think I was Googling something. I was like, Edgy Animes or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I was just going down a list, and I saw Yamada's first time. And it was Chris was at my house, and I was like, bro, we finna watch this now. <laughs> we watched it together. In the living room in a big-ass TV. <laughs> yeah, we watched it. We were like, obviously, like, our parents were there, but so we were just like. <laughs> you were a big chiller. It was like on some gangster yeah. shit. Like, I wasn't there, we but heard it, the way heard they it, would yeah. talk about it. They'd make jokes about it on the bus. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what they're saying. Especially okay. because the, boom, boom, boom. The, plot watch is, it. the plot is so funny. It's like, I want to sleep with a hundred guys like in like five minutes or like not in like uh, What's her freshman thing? year. But yeah, I haven't seen it, so I don't know about it. But, but yeah, like yeah, the three, the three, like 
It was Hevesoft's property, Yamato's first time, and then, uh, I forgot what another one was. There was another anime I was really into at the time. Yeah. But, like, yeah. Say what you I put Chris on Yamato's first time. But there was, uh, the anime that, like, got me out of my ecchi phase, which, funny enough, is also kind of considered ecchi, was Kill a Kill. Because that was also on Netflix, I believe. But was I think, that the girl with the own, like, stream? Yeah, yeah the, she has, like, the stream bikinis, the, just yeah, like the, the yeah, scissors yeah. sword. Yeah. I never watched that one. But, I watched, like... I didn't finish the 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 series. Never, I, like, I watched yeah. like how old were you when you watched it? <sighs> Probably high school, freshman year. Yeah, freshman. Uh, I, I guess watched a shit ton of. I guess we're cut year. from a different cloth then. But like, no, I no, no, no. It's because it's because um, I was like, at the time I was watching different things. I started like watching shit with people. So then it's like it get kind of put on the back burner, and I watched something else, and I just like forget about it. And I just haven't gotten back and watched it yet. It's on my list though. But like, yeah, Kill a Kill was like, cause like it was also like considered edgy, so I was like, oh, you got me on the first like first shot. Yeah. But also like, um, that's what like really made me want to watch like other stuff other than like edgy. Bro, remember the one I told you to watch? My it's called the. Uh, I forgot my my first girlfriend is a gal. Remember? Bro. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember that. Oh, oh my, my god. Cause I, I I actually went through the same phase. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm gonna watch everything etchy. Mm -mm -mm. That right. was that one. I watched that one. Like, yeah, and... I rewatched it recently. It's still good. Bro, <laughs> it's still oh my God. Still I watched it, it when it first came out. I, I was yeah. watching, bro. I was watching it when it was coming out weekly. No, I wasn't that early. Yeah, I, was, like, I, was, I, was, like, I was like watching I was, like, nah. I, was, I was like on like 9 or whatever I fucking used. I was like hitting refresh. Like, like I knew it came Dude, out on Sunday. Yes, I didn't know what time. Yes, bro. Yeah. yeah, I remember. I, I remember. I'm like, yo, Eddie. Fuck around, watch this one, bro. It's like I remember and that. Then that shit was good. And then and then we'd be on the bus just talking you about it. Episode, bro. Oh my Dude, God. yes, and like oh, and when this and this and this and that, and then it wasn't until I'm like, all right, bro, I need to start. I need to start watching Edgy, but I should kind of like. <laughs> I'm getting. It's getting to me, that's bro. It's really getting to me. I'm, all right, man. bro. You know, and that's that's when I start. That's when I started SEO. Yeah. After I got out that phase, I was like SEO, and then SEO romance, and then. I need. I think I have, I have a list of it, bro. I, I mean, you can look it up. So, I, like for me though, like when I first got into it, because like like I said, I I grew up with it, right? Mm -hmm. I but like I used to think like you know like Pokemon, Beyblade, Bakugan, Digimon, Yu Gi Oh, Dragon Ball. Bro, that I used to just think it was, me, it was bro. cartoons. I, look, bro. Pull it up. Bro, right I put, yeah, I typed in two letters and they, they knew Why what the fuck I was looking. Doing? I remember the Japanese name is because I think it's uh Hajimete no Gal. That's how yeah, that dedicated I was, bro. I want to look Japanese. I was like, <laughs> I, I, have you seen how I met the no guy? I remember looking it up and I'm like, where's season two at? And like, season two rumored and like, you know. Nah, it's because <laughs> oh, oh, it's the old creator. I think, you know, like every other creator yeah. going through some like disease, you know, heart attack yeah, something, problems. Yeah. Disease, something, you know. Something so, that he can't write. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, yeah. I was saying like, I really quick, like I watch other stuff and like, like Gabe, he would like, he got me on a fairy tale like in middle school and shit. Power of Friendship? Um, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. No, I've definitely seen it. Yeah, uh, like seen multiple it. times actually. But um, I fucked with it, bro. Shit was good. I, you. I, I think but, my like, favorite one was. I was there. watching like Fairy Tale, but like I never was like, like into anime. And then like one night, it was like, it's like a Thursday night, and like football, we had games on Thursday. So like I was tired. I'm just chilling in my room, and I'm like, all right, let's see what they got on Netflix. So I was going through like Netflix, and I see like Sao, and I like, was reading the synopsis. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like I like video games, and you know, it's it's like. I, at the time, again, I didn't know it was anime. So I'm like, I mean, because that part didn't affect me. But I was like, I like video games. And he's like, stuck in a video game. So I watched it. That was the first all nighter I had watching anime. I watched season one and two, like back to back, pulled an all nighter. And then, like, I started season one again because I was like, I got to watch this shit again. Like, I was like, I don't know why. I was just hooked on it. Like, it was like a, like a, a drug. Dude, and then like, I was hooked was on too. it. That's and then, like, too. that's when I was like, okay, this shit's anime. I want to watch a bunch of other anime. So I looked up online, like, hey, what anime should I watch that's like SAO? And then, like, all this other shit came up and then like because it kind of is it's not etchy but it's like etchy like adjacent it's kind of etchy with some scenes so it's like it would say oh you should try this and then like i got really deep into like the etchy category because i watched that and i was like hey i watched this okay up next this up next this up next so like there was a point where like at the <clears throat> breakfast table anyone could say any etchy i don't know the names because i watched them so fast i don't know the names i don't know the character names nothing but i knew the plot and i'm like oh it's this one where this happens and this happens and this I happens and then that. people are like how the fuck you know that and i'm like i'm like that bro <laughs> tell me, like, you feel me? I, I, I know my shit don't tell me i don't know my shit yeah. so then i got i was like okay i need to stop like I, I'm getting too deep into this. Everybody I'm gonna watch to something else, Everybody and then I was like, you know what, fuck phase. it. One Piece. This will get me off of that, and then One Piece became like my identity. Alright, all right. <laughs> I yeah, still have to watch One Piece, man. For me, like, hey. uh, I think I'll skip this one. Yeah, out. <laughs> I, you know, uh, One Piece. Seen the first episode. 
I, I would definitely That's recommend it. like reading it. I think reading it's better. Bro, the only thing, I, the only mangas I read was Attack on Titan mm. when oh. it was coming out. Yeah, Dragon Ball to this day, I still mm. read that. You know, yeah, uh, Dragon Ball and Super, then, yeah. uh, which one was the other one? No, it was just them two. Just them two. Yeah, two. I mean, like, cause like watching it's not bad, but the the problem with One Piece is that the anime is it it's paced very bad. So like most animes, you'll get like one and a half to like upwards of like three ish like manga chapters yeah. per episode. One two three, yeah. Like usually it's like in like the low like the upper ones, lower twos. Uh, One Piece is so bad currently, like where they're at, like where they're doing the weekly episodes right now. They'll they won't even adapt a full chapter. It's like they'll do like six panels what the and they'll just stretch it out that's... yeah it, it's paced terribly that's why like i say like you could watch it and shit up until there's like a time skip and personally once those you get the, the time skip those are the best once like once you get like get back from the time skip just read it you're because the that's the point where the anime gets extremely poorly paced like there's a like in the 700s they're on this island called dress rosa and in the in the manga, like they're they're running around the island because it's, it's a big island, so they're running around for a long time. But it's like mm -hmm. ten pages they're running around. But in the anime, dude, they stretch that shit out into like twenty episodes of them just like Bro, what? just running down like a town or something. And it's just like it, they stretch it out because they want to get like more space between like them and the mangas. It's, if you don't stretch it out, you start catching up to the manga. So then it's like they want to give them more space, stretch it out, and then it's it's just it gets so bad. So, if you do ever end up watching it, and, like, Never. usually I say, like, like, uh, there's a art called Arlong Park, which is, like, I want to say it's either 30 or 40 episodes in, so not, like, that far in. Once you finish that, then you stop and say, like, do I want to keep watching it or not? Because that arc pretty much encompasses, in my opinion, everything that One Piece is. Because mm. it deals with, like, the racism and the oppression, and because it's more than just a silly pirate show. It gets way more in depth with stuff like that. Friendship. Yeah, well, it's more than friendship. It's like family, bro. It's like oh, Fast man. and Furious. <laughs> oh. I, bro. I, but like, I, but I, like I was saying, if, if you ever, if you ever do get to it, just yeah. finish Arlong Park, and then like, if you fuck with Arlong Heavy, yeah, we just watch the movies. Yeah. You can watch the movies. Yeah, yeah there's also a website movie. called One Pace where it skips all like the stuff you don't need. I remember. I'm, I don't yeah. know about that, bro. If you if your anime is all that, bro, I ain't finna watch it. Bro, hold on. I still watch anime to this day. Like y'all fuck with me, feel me? No, I like, can't get into I, it. I I I still watch it. Like uh, like Demon Slayer. You the most. That? Yeah, I want to see the movie. Yeah. yeah, I can't get into like those the most. The new one. The, yeah, the newest one. Yeah, I heard it was like a lot of recap. Bro, oh my god, the first forty, the first forty-five. It's dead as the last episode is the last arc. Yeah, like the last two episodes. I swear it's copy and paste mm. i'm like damn what the fuck i've already seen this but it wasn't until the end where like what like 30 15 minutes yeah it was like the last it's like, like the last minutes or yeah it's the last like it's like two episodes yeah and like the best scene was on there you feel me that's the best scene yeah yeah of course yeah of course of course of course, culture, of course. Culture, i know man. i know what you're out of my head yeah, yeah, you don't, don't, don't even have to <laughs> say which one <laughs> i think because like i watched a lot of etchy and i got that in my system when desensitized I, I guess yeah or like i just don't care anymore we were like yeah, i can't wait for the bass and i'm like bro it's just a draw i do that shit as a joke <laughs> yeah yeah i know i know yeah, yeah i know you do it but there's some people out there they're, they're like, genuine nah, they're, like they're, they're, they're like in the like they're in the, like the movie they're like i'm waiting I'm they're waiting. like yeah. i'm waiting, I'm waiting for especially those. because we went to ax like the <sighs> yeah. anime convention and it was the chainsaw man pen you watch chainsaw man yeah yeah so do you what was her name makum uh, makima makima yeah there's okay. these dudes behind this and like obviously I think they're joking, but they they every joke comes from a kernel of truth or something like that. <laughs> that's that's what Jay Cole said. Yeah. yeah, and like uh he was talking about Makima. He was like, Hey, who'd you guys is the best girl? It was like the the directors of the anime, and then these dudes behind us, they kept barking instead for Ma uh Makuma. And I was like, All right, bro, it's just a drawing. Yeah, it was it was like the, like the like the CEO of Mappa was there. There was uh, the, the art director, the art director for Chainsaw Man. The, the CEO yeah, of Mappa was there. Yeah, bro, what? It was. It, it was. It was, it was like. It's like. It's like the big anime convention in LA. Yeah, it was. So it was like. LA? Yeah, we it went. Like, like, it was last year. summer. What? Yeah. yeah, and it was the uh, CEO of Mappa was there. Yeah, I usually the CEO or like the head guy of Mappa, wow. whatever he was, and he was there. Bro, he, obviously, he didn't speak English. He had a translator. Bro, I had a lot. Bro, if I had met him, bro, I'd be like. <laughs> You're like. I'm like, all right, so keep facing them out, man. You no, but like, but like, like every time like someone even said Makima, bro, like four of them. Yeah, they kept barking. Bro. It, it was like uh, it was it was like funny at first, like oh yeah, that's what they do, like because yeah, yeah, she likes yeah, people yeah. treating so people like dogs. So shit like that back in the but day. 
That, that's like, why people make fun of anime yeah, fans, bro. Yeah, it's because they can't keep shit. Back in the day, it was like, nah, all right, bro, you gotta get out. And they're like, get they out. used to make fun of us, like, because you did shit like that. You did shit yeah, like that, bro. That. That's that's the shit we're talking yeah. about, bro. It's like yeah. I'm watching buff dudes fight each other, bro, and you're watching like, like, yeah. I. Yeah, yeah, I used to watch shit like Heaven's House Property and jerk <laughs> off every like every second. And I, no, I didn't bark. Like, if they didn't I didn't bark. I didn't bark. I did, I did that in my own room. Yeah, I did that in Dude. private. You can do that in your own room in private. Oh my but like, God. if they were showing a Heaven's House Property movie, I ain't barking on the screen, bro. No matter how hot these You'd be like, are. Yeah, I'm keeping my cool and be respectful. I ain't barking. And then when you go home, but that's a different story. Yeah, when I go home, that's a, that's your own private. Oh, no. Even in your car, that's your own but yeah, they were barking like crazy, bro. Yeah, I remember though. Uh, it was funny because the lines at, at AX, uh, it was it was it was basically just line con. So it's like anything you wanted to do, no matter what it was, you're waiting for like at least an hour and a half in line, because it's like just so many people there, right? So it's like, we wanted to go to the Chainsaw Man panel, but we knew it was going to be like hella busy. So there was like, you ever heard of Maiden Abyss? Is that one with the, when they blow like the, up? With uh, the little kids? Like little, little kid. kids. Yeah, and yeah like, I've yeah, seen yeah. that one scene where they're going down and then boom. Yeah. But, yeah. So it's like, uh, they were announcing season two, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, they showed the first episode. The, the lines were really short. So, but it was in the same venue as the Chainsaw Man. It was right before it too. So we went in the line for that one. And then we've got like front row seats. And then like we just at the end we waited and then we we're already there for the chainsaw because they didn't clear house so we were sitting there but it was funny because there was guys behind us like can you believe it there's people in line that actually only came to this just so they can go to the chainsaw man panel and then we're all just like yeah you're not with us bro like we're the ones doing you know, this when you say that i swear to god i feel like that's how they talk too yeah that, that they they talk yeah. like all nasally like ew, ew, ew. Not all of them. No, yeah. no, no, not at all. No. Or it's like like the one guy that was like uh, when we cut we cut him in line and he's like I know what you did. Yeah, like, bro, like they were, they were, as much as I like to dog on them, they're like pretty. They're like all right. It's like the twenty percent that makes the other eighty percent cringe. For sure. I mean, I wouldn't sure. say cringe, but like as in like you know you see the bad twenty percent. Well, it's the vocal minority. Yeah. So it's like they're the smaller group, but they're so loud. It's like yeah, it, that shines. No, because like. There was a line to even get into the, like the place, and people were there from like the night before. They didn't even go like to a, like a hotel. They like stayed on the streets so they could get there like early, like, first in line. And we just like show up because the place opened at like I don't remember what time. But I'm just at, like eight o'clock or whatever. Show up at like seven seven thirty, hop in line somewhere, and we just be chilling, right? And we cut someone in line, and, and uh, I think he was talking to I don't remember if it was you or Eduardo, but he was like he was like. I know what you did. He talked to me. Was he, it you? Yeah. It, it's because, like, uh, so they had separate lines to go into the the main building. It was, like, a big building. Because, it was a big know, venue, yeah. yeah. It was the L.A. Convention Center. Yeah. And um, we got split up because we're, like, we're just going to go in different lines instead of staying in one spot. Yeah. And there was a dude behind me, and he was, like, he, like, he walked up to me, and he was, like, hey, I saw what you guys did. And I was, like, I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Don't talk <laughs> to me, bro. And then I was, like, I, I looked at him, and I was, like, oh, okay, like, like I, uh, the reason why I was so like chill about it is because like if he were to start something, I would win the fight. Like, if he <laughs> yeah. was someone who was cosplaying as Goku and told me that, I'd be like, "All right, you go ahead." Bro. <laughs> yes, like, sir. You may go in front of me. <laughs> oh, sorry, he's like Jack. He's like, yeah. If he was I cosplaying Goku, and I'm like, "Oh, right, you go, my bad, sir." No, <laughs> like I don't remember what he was wearing, but like uh, he was wearing a made outfit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, With the cat ears, stop playing. But, yeah, yeah, he, he was weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, bro. <laughs> but that was when that was when. I was, anyways. But that was when I was benching like two o five, bro. Like even that yeah. got stronger. He was up in the fuck on you. Yeah. 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 He was. Yeah. So yeah, he was. Cool, right? <laughs> you were just just. <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah. <laughs> no way! <laughs> hey, he my he my dog though. You feel me? He he, he pulled that shit hey, off. He pulled that me. shit off though. He pulled it off. He, though, he pulled that shit yeah. off for me. It, it's it's not. Yeah, that's where I it's not my, everybody can do that shit, yeah, man. That's my infamous outfit. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> did you have the gloves? The, okay. Funny. Did funny. you? Yes or no? Uh, I had them, but I lost one. Okay. <laughs> if you had both of them, ooh, boy. <laughs> but the first time I wore, I did have both of them. He did, yeah. So you did the whole. The whole. The whole what? That oh no not it was it was pure ironic like there was oh. no like a he did it for a class okay, I had yeah. to do it well, I didn't have to do it <laughs> it was it was yeah. a bonus points yeah and there was like some other shit I didn't like about that but like basically that's what it was right yeah. right right but yeah he was like but that guy was like yeah he was like I saw no what but you it's did. it's okay. funny because like because it was three days or four days long and three of the four days like there was always someone that like was staring us down like I know that you cut in line. 
And we're just all like, but y'all did you? Did you? Like yes, we, we fucking cut in line. Gangster. I, I'm not gonna, like, bro. Like there was li like literally, if I didn't, we didn't cut in line. We'd have to go down like actually three city blocks for the end of the line. And it's like that shit. Like we we got there at like seven thirty. We wouldn't be getting into like noon. And it's like we got shit to see, bro. Like I'm trying to get in here. So like we cut in line. Like there was one day we cut in line, and like uh, I don't remember if the guy who was in line. No, no, no the guy that was like. A couple behind us he went and got like security and like told him that we yeah do you remember it was the, it was the day that uh that one guy in the fire force cosplay let us cut behind him you mean tanjiro no that was a different day that was the last day oh, anyways can't... anyways so the security's like y'all cut in line and we're like no nah, we got pushed out because people were pushing up and like we're trying to get back in like we're trying to get back to our spot and then they're like you really gotta go to the end of the line and then we all kind of just agree that like it's not worth the trouble arguing with this guy so we went back like maybe 50 feet and then we cut back in line because this guy was like hey just like get behind me right he, he was super cool with it right he's like just get behind me like just don't go in front of me i don't care just go behind me and we're like all right cool so we got behind him and dude this guy like this this dude had to have been like five four maybe like 250 like he was fat bro he was like the typical like anime you don't remember this? Dude, he had the gray no. shirt? Dude, oh, no, no, no. He had the uh, the pink shirt. Anyways, he was staring us down for like 30 minutes. He was just like, like he was in front of us because like it kind of went like this and then it curved out. So he was like up here and we were like back here on the curve, right? And he was just like, like death stare, bro. It was the funniest thing ever. Because I'm like, because you ain't gonna do shit about it. You ain't gonna go tell somebody. Cause I'm fucking with this guy now. He says that we were here. We're here. Right. Like okay. I'm rocking with this guy. All right. All right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, you ain't gonna Bro, fuck with me now. What? And then like another day, there was a guy in like a Tanjiro cosplay, and uh, he was on his phone. So we just like snuck in front of him, and then I was like trying to be slick with it. So I was like, "Hey, bro, I really like that cosplay. Like, I just finished watching Demon Slayer like a couple a couple weeks ago." And he was like, "Oh yeah, man, thanks." Like, and I was chatting him up for like an hour. Never saw him again. But like. I just want to make sure because he was like towards the not the oh, front of smooth, line, tough. but we were like we were like getting in there. This, this is smart, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. No, it was mostly Gabe. Gabe was like Gabe was like hey, there was a gap and like slid in there, and we're all just like slide in. Well, that's cool. Bro. But it's funny, like you know, growing like growing up, be like, oh yeah, you watch this anime like no one likes, and then go into like AX, and, and then you like, get some people like it. Yeah, so we feel like like I keep saying this, like I probably repeat it already, but like I don't really watch these like new animes. The, the, if anything, I watch like the slice of life slash romance. Yeah, but I can't, I can't get into Demon Slayer. I try to get into One Piece is not new, but like it's popular. I can't get yeah. into uh, One Piece. Uh, I don't remember. There was something else that was popular. I could, I could get into. Mm. One Punch Man was one of them, but like, I, I, I just my can't hero? get my, yeah, my hero. Yeah, my hero. I can't, I can't get into it. And like, people told me it's like it's good. Like, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the downside. Like, okay, it's probably good, but I just, I don't know why I just can't watch it. See, for me, it's like specifically for like a lot of stuff. It's uh, like I'll just go with like with my hero for now. It's like season one and two are really good, and then like it starts kind of like getting a little worse because it gets like very. Like it falls into like specific anime tropes where it's uh, I guess it's more like one dimensional character. So it's like because there's so many characters, they all just have like one trait. So Bakugo's always angry, Deku's always crying, Todoroki's always depressed, and it's like they all get like that's the only thing they they do, and it gets boring. So then I caught up to it, and then I read the manga, and then it got to the point where it's like, I, do you watch My Hero? Yeah, I'm watching it every every time it comes. Okay, out. so I'm not gonna get too deep, but you know like about like the whole Deku shit with like the vigilante and yeah. No, oh, so he's I, like I he's like dark Deku. I don't want to fight y'all. Yeah. So I I got to like that shit and I was like, okay, like this shit's getting kind of good right now. Yeah, like, I'm gonna fuck with too. it right now. That's what like, I heard. Because like because like Deku's it. like I'm not gonna fight y'all. They're like run the run the run the fade, bro. And he's like, all forget, right, I'm gonna fight y'all then. Yeah, like, I, like yeah, bro. I can rock y'all shit right now. Like, yeah, everybody, I can whoop everybody's ass. Right exactly. Now. Like, He's like, that dude. Because when I read that, bro, like I don't know if you ever seen the manga panels. It's so dark and gritty. Yeah, I love you that know, shit, bro. You know, thank you for bringing that up. There's one panel. It was, um, I think it was couple. I think it, nah, I swear it was probably a couple years before they the, to the point it is now mm -hmm. getting animated. This is one panel where they're in the alley. And it's uh, my guy, he, and then he's trying to give him lunch, but then Deku just turns <clears> around, <throat> and his shadow is just like all black. It's all like distorted and, and like distorted. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like he looks slouched over, mm. and I was like, bro, what? This shit's finally getting good. It's getting because it's like it's not childish anymore. No, because it, it was so childish they for grown. so long, and they grew up. They grown. Like yeah. he's like they he's like. Skip. 
Yeah, because he's time skipping. He's like, he's like, I'm him. I gotta be the guy. Yeah. And so then, like, you know, he, he got to get in there. You know. I'm excited too because I'm. It's so good. It's. It, I think I like it now. Yeah. I mean, I, I ain't gonna cap. I liked it before, but I'm more of like, okay, what's gonna happen next? Okay, boom, boom, boom. Now they're working together. All the nine. Oh wait, do you have you seen it? I don't care. You he doesn't care? care about it. Yeah. Like the nine, the nine yeah, people yeah, are finally yeah. gonna work together so he can. You know, uh, defeat them yeah. finally for yeah. nine generations. You know, use all their powers. Yeah, all the powers, yeah. right? Um, and then more of a fucking what is it? More of um, well, it's like I think we're trying to say it, it gets like it's more than just fighting. Yeah, there's like more shit going on plot, in the background, like plot. Yeah, because yeah. like for a long time, it's just very much like well, one, it's always had beautiful animation. The animation's always been good with it, especially with the movies. Bones, the, the movies, movies? Oh bro, God. it's always good. When it does the last right? spread. Yeah, like Deku's running and he's yeah. like behind him, and then he's behind him. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. but like, it's it's always had good animation, but it it got to the point where I, I kind of like where I was with Dragon Ball, where I didn't really care. I just want to see them fight. Like I don't care about anything else. I just want to. I don't care about the plot. Nothing. I just want to see them fight. A lot of fighting. In There's a lot of fighting right now. Yeah, but it's like. Remember, there was a time where there wasn't a lot of fighting. No, it was a bunch of. Crying. It was a bunch of like it's like yeah, like Deku a bunch crying. Of crying and he's but like, then like oh. I read the manga and. The, Fucking shit up, and I'm Bro, like, that's I, how love I, was too with my, I love this shit. That's how I was uh, Attack on Titan. Mm -hmm. I waited the recent episode that just came out, the movie, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I waited like I think about a year and a half to get that shit animated. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you seen Attack on Titan? I finished. It, I read it. Yeah, we we both read it. Oh, yeah. but like uh, you know Hanji, mm. like uh, that. Um, What's her face? Annie getting, mm. you know, melted. Yeah. The whole Gabby thing, killing Sarah. Mm. Like, all that shit. I waited. For so long, yeah. For so long. And, like, seeing animated, I was like, wow, dude, this is, this is, this is crazy, you know? Because mm. I'm like, all right, I seen it. You know, I, I felt like that one meme that people would say, uh, manga readers versus anime watchers. Yeah. Like that. Like, oh, you know, this shit happens. Oh, you like this character? Well, keep watching. They're mm. an eye. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah you know, because... That's my friends were. I put them on Attack on Titan, mm. and then they were asking me, "Dude, is she dying?" I said, like, "Dude, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to tell I'm not gonna you. say nothing. Yeah. I don't want to say nothing. You know, I'm like, you're a good guesser, though. You know, they were making theories how um, uh, before they were now that Zeke and Aaron were correlated to each other mm. some way somehow. I'm like, damn, bro. They're like so, on this shit. They're yeah. like, what the fuck, y'all, 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 y'all know some shit. Mm. And the whole um. True bloodline, the true powers. Yeah. If you're not a part of the bloodline, you can't use the powers. Yeah. Though if you are, you're like OP. You know, mm. um, you know, people, characters dying. You know, Levi being crippled now. Mm. Um, and then the whole, what was it? Uh, the whole the the last panel for Attack on Titan, the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That they were talking it's about. Like a it. callback. And, yeah, yeah, that they were talking about. Like, dude, what if it all ends and it starts again? They and it's like the tree. They were talking about it. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. What are they on? They're better than me. Like, bro, yeah. when, I, when I was first watching it, bro, I saw uh, Zeke when he was in Titan form. Yeah, I, think, I think it's the end of season three mm -hmm. where he's like the monkey. He, like, he gets out and he like mm -hmm. flicks his hair back. Yeah. And he puts his glasses on. And I'm like, I said that oh, was like, a, like it's Aaron's grandpa. I thought it, I thought, I thought it was his dad. <laughs> I like, said it was his dad. Because I, I thought we've already seen I'm like, no, I thought his dad had like brown hair, but I'm like, his grandpa though? Or his brother, or cousin, <laughs> his uncle, brother, like, so like I was that. like, I was like, I was like, bro. he's Aaron's, he's, his deal, bro. He, he's on it. He's, yeah, I remember bro. that shit, bro. <laughs> and now it's like, yeah, they, what are they? I mean, they're, they're uh, half brothers. Half brothers, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Because they're the same dad. Same dad, different yeah. mom, right? Mm. Right, right, right. Because his like, mom is like the descendant of like the, the royalty. Mm -hmm. And then Aaron's mom's just like some bitch from the island. That's what, okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Is that that blondie, right? The yeah. blonde titan that mm. eats Aaron's mom? Uh yeah, cause that the, the blood that that fucking threw me for yeah. a loop. When like when you find out the cause like when I saw her like in the it's like yo, what if she's the Titan that eats Aaron's mom? And then she was. And I was like, <laughs> but then the whole time Aaron was doing the, all the, the he was, he was shots, controlling it, bro. He was calling the fucking shots, mm -hmm. bro. What? It's crazy. Oh, bro. He was calling the shots way before oh um before anything was happening. Like also that one before 
Attack on Titan was hyped. That I was watching this theory that there's this when they're three little kids. Mm -hmm. There's a guy in the background. What a cl oh yeah, you see them like yeah. in the thing, and like you see the guy in the background. Yeah. It's like that's Aaron right that's there. That's Aaron. Or also there's they're sitting in a um, like a wagon, and they're talking, and then you see a head looking at the at the village that uh, Reiner, you know, the first one. Yeah, Shigashina. Yeah. Yeah, and you see like this the head of Aaron. Mm. Well, it's not him. We don't know yet. You see some some guy. Yeah, some guy yeah. with a with a cloak and then his hair and his nose sticking out. I, people, people I love are, the I love the one. Remember, like in season one, where they were uh, trying to like reclaim the town, and they were like there was like this group that they were stuck inside the building, and there was like titans climbing it. Mm -hmm. It's before Aaron went titan form because we thought Aaron just died, right? Because he got swallowed by that one dude. Oh yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. like there's like they're all climbing it and then like that's when uh like aaron's squadron was like all right we gotta like go in this thing we're gonna shoot them and like we're gonna go up behind them like they're doing that whole plan yeah. and like you see a scene like it cuts out to the outside with the titans like climbing on the wall and if you look in the bottom corner there's a building and like you see two people like regular people looking into a window and then you cut to like the current season it's aaron talking to zeke and it's the same exact window the same exact scene what the fuck? I didn't yes, know this. Because he was showing him like what was happening. And Zeke's like, wait, this isn't my memory. And Aaron's like, yeah, it's my memory. And then Zeke's like, it's, um, it goes insane, bro. Oh, oh, oh. I need it to, goes I, I need insane. To, I need to bro. find that one. I, I, I want to rewatch it just so I can like try to find like the little details. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. See, shit like this that makes I fucking love anime. You feel me? Cause it's like, like you don't see shit like this in other nah. medias, man. You really What's don't. What's your plot twist? You know, yeah. like him controlling, calling the shots from the day one. That's when I'm like, dude. All right. No, the the I think the biggest time, like when I was watching it, like I'm talking about like full body. I had goosebumps. Like, you would actually see them, like my all over my my entire body. I get to. It's the one. first time when when Aaron and Zeke, cause Zeke still thinks he's in control. And they show like uh, their dad going up to like the, the king of the island and he's like, please just like, let me like, they're attacking. I like, let me save my family. I have a wife. I have a kid. And he's like, nah, fuck you. I'm gonna do my own shit. And he's like, then I'm gonna have to take it. And then, uh, and then, I uh, know he's like, I, I'm gonna do my own shit. And then Grisha's like, I can't do this. I can't kill this girl. Like, cause I have a kid. I can't do this. And then Aaron like leans in his ear and he's like, do it. Oh, he's is, like, that, is it, that when they're doing the passing on the... Yeah, they're passing the it on. Man? And then it's like, it turns out that Aaron's the one that was like... It's, it's when it first showed, like, Aaron's the one forcing his dad to eat the founding titan. Oh, I'm And then he's like, he's like, in his ear, like, yeah. all this stuff. You see what happens. You know what happens. It's all because of them. And he's like, in his ear, just like, like the devil yeah. on his shoulder. And then, like, I was getting chills. And then when he walks out of, the, like, the thing after he killed the, the people. Yeah. And he's like... He sees Zeke. He sees Zeke through the Fountain Titan, and he's like, "Zeke, you need to stop him." And I was like, "Oh, wow. like my whole body, bro! Like I was getting chills. I had goosebumps. Yeah. Like it's it's so like Attack on Titan. It's not my favorite of all time. Top five, not but it is it is quite frankly, in every sense of the word, truly peak. It is peak fiction. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It was better before the world building." Before, uh, once they introduced like Marley or whatever, I, that's when I like I still finished it. I was still interested, but I was like, I liked it better when it was just like, see, I actually dudes. liked it more, but I also, like I mean, Monkeys, I know you because so. you like love yeah. world building. I, I just love like the simple, yeah. I like the simple promise. I was like, oh, yeah, what is this? What is it doing? And it's like, oh, yeah, now we're dealing with time. I'm like, oh, yeah, I kind of don't care about I that. didn't really care oh, about the time at first, mean, was, yeah, but yeah. it's like when they introduced Marley, I remember when I first started, uh, when I, um, because I didn't watch season four, when I once I or the final season, like. Which is, I think, season four. I finished season three, and then I read the read the rest of the manga. Yeah. And I remember when I first found the chapter, like I saw it, like Aaron pointing out, like our enemies are Freedom. over there. We got the whole, like, yeah, all that shit. And I go to the next chapter, and it's like these fucking kids in a trench. I'm like, am I reading the right shit? Like, what same, the fuck is this? Same. I was oh, like, what? I swear what is this? Me too. And I read it. And I was like, I'm like, who the fuck is this? I don't, I don't know who this is. Who is this blonde dude? Who's I, this I girl? And then I was like, I was like. It's Reiner when he was a kid, and it wasn't. But I was like, I was like, yo, it's Reiner and Sasha, and I'm like going through. I'm like, it's all of them when they were kids. And, and, and then and, you wait, yeah, until the next one comes out, and you see um, Zeke mm. or Reiner. You see Reiner like in there with like the beard, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, 
That's when they had that's the time. Weird. That's when they had the time. There's skip. a time skip. Yeah. Time skip. I'm like, that's quirky. That's I thought Ryder was down there. Yeah. <laughs> and it threw me for a loop. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I because I love world building. Again, I love One Piece, hey, and One Piece is known for world building. What? One Piece is known for world building. So it's like I always fuck What's with that? the heavy hmm? world building. So it's like it's like just like uh, expanding the world, introducing more characters. Oh. It's like. Uh, it's like so it's like think about like attack on titan like this is the entire island and like mm -hmm. this is like marley mm -hmm. so it's like the first seasons was just this mm -hmm. and then like they end up encompassing this now so mm -hmm. you have more of the world like you understand more of the world that they're in mm, okay so it's like think about like so like dlc yeah like, kind of like dlc yeah <laughs> and then lots of dlc like that yeah you're on yeah you get an expansion pack like on the anime so it's like it's, i love it because one piece does that and like right. i love it it's, it's like a adventure almost in a sense, but I love that shit. I got either, and that's also like political, and I love politics, like shit like that. So I'm like, I fuck with it heavy. Nah, like there's only a few instances where like I could get into that, mm -hmm. but yeah, I liked Attack on Titan. It was a much more simpler premise, and then it started getting big, too big for my taste. I didn't really sign up for like this like quantum theory shit that was going on. <laughs> quantum like, entanglement. Anything time related, I'm like, all right, dude. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> that's it's not the deep man. That's where we stop. You know, it's getting too too much on my time and then it, it like the tech on time thing uh aaron calling the shots from day one what it's like we it, waited how many years for that shit to happen yeah like if it was if i didn't know if if i didn't know aaron was calling the shots i would have thought the dad what's his name grisha? grisha yeah i'm like dude this dude's a villain this dude's a fucking mm -hmm. monster he's killing families so he can plot against them it's nah. like i thought he again i thought he was the mastermind yeah i thought yeah. it was like he's calling every shot nah it's aaron from the future mm -hmm. What? I mean, it's cool. I fucks with it. Yeah. But like, if it was like that, I'm like, dude. I will say it did take me longer than I like to admit to like, because like at first I was like, oh, real simple. Like you could pass memories back and forth, is what it is. But then it's like it got into like not only can I pass memories, I can exist within my own memories and show it to someone else. And then I was like, that's a little bit weird. And then it turns out like it's a full circle and like Aaron's controlling everything. And I was like. Now I'm like fucking confused. I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. you had me in the first half, and then like, you lost me. You know, it, it was a bit trippy. But then like, once I understood it, I'm like, like my mind's expanding. Mm -hmm. Like I, I like understood gravity. I'm like, what is life? Now we wait until I think this year, list next year for the other. I think part. they said like fall. Yeah, fall and this then year. That's, it's wraps. That's the last one. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, unless they like try to stretch it out more. Bro, honestly, I think they should just call it quits. Yeah, but apparently it was like not even like mappas. It was like the marketing because they were mm. like the final season. Mm. But then it, it's not the final. Wasn't season. mappa like cranking out like a they more. got fucking everything? They're yeah, cranking twenties. Yeah, because they they got like I can't think of them off rip, but like I know they have Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw. and then they have that, and then. uh they picked up like a bunch of other stuff. They did. I, I think that. they picked up. Did, did they do One Punch Man? I think they might. What I know? They, they, pick, they picked up a bunch of stuff and everyone's like, Mappa Animators, dog. They're yeah, not seeing their families. Yeah. I seen this one interview where the, the guy, I forgot his name. I don't know. It was just clips on my, my uh, social media. It was like the director, bro. Mm. Like he's pale. You know, yeah, he, he looks sickly. Yeah. Bro, he's sick, bro. He bags were black. I mean, to his nose. I'm like, bro, what? That shit is serious. Because like, that's all they do, bro. Bro, that's serious. Bro, they say they work like 80 hours a week mm -hmm. or something like that. Westerners mm -hmm. eat that shit up. Yeah, uh, we do not care. <laughs> Just give me more. You got yeah, soft hands, that's, brother. That's that's wild. You know, I'm like, bro, they need to chill out. Yeah. They need to chill out. But yeah, but I'm they're like, putting out good shit bro, though. Chainsaw man, man. man, dog. Just wait. Quit playing. Bro, just wait till like they start introducing like um what is it? You read it? I read the manga, yeah. You have? I bet yeah. that up, bet that up. Okay. So like start introducing like more um World building. More war yeah. World so, building, yeah, yeah. You know, the more more the curses. They start introducing more mm, more of that more shit. More yeah. and more. And then my favorite one is um um I'm bad with names. The guy with the man bun. Uh Aki. With the sword? Yeah, Aki. The Aki way? I think it's Aki. Aki way. He's fine. the guy with like the, the <laughs> con. Yeah, con. Yeah, yeah, him. Like, what you find out what happens to him. Mm hmm. That's wild. Mm hmm. You know, I ain't gonna say too much. You know, some people out yeah, there. Yeah, spoilers, but, yeah. You seen Cause it? Have you, have you read the manga? I've uh, only read to, uh, like, when them two fight. 
Okay, because like, like you know what I'm talking about yeah, who, who, who yeah, fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like in, once you get like beyond that, dude. That's when I stopped. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna spoil. I'm like, no, I'm gonna it, have to- it goes fucking. Crazy. Okay, yeah, but I'm like, dude, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna have to wait years for this shit to get animated. You are. I'm yeah. gonna just be like the Captain Underpants, like. Oh yeah, the football rock. Yeah, shit. Next page, next page. Boom, boom. That's so boom. funny, bro. That's or, a or that's a reference. What you can do, what I do, when I was watching Seven Deadly Sins, when mm-hmm. it was, I'm like that shit would come out on Netflix. Like people were watching it. Um, you seen it? That mm-hmm. there was okay. I've read it too. Yeah. I read it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I remember watching this too. I think uh, fuck. When was this? I think it was senior year when. People slowly but surely started started like okay, I fuck with anime. A little bit like looking. It's little, yeah. like a little door open and then people started squeezing through that mm-hmm. shit, right? I remember watching this the uh, es- uh, Escanor versus Meliodas. Yeah, yeah. In the small square, mm-hmm. I see some fan animation. Like you know how it wasn't fully animated, but it was like you could see it. Like though. you can, see, it was moving. You can hear the background noise, like yeah. the swords clashing, the powers. You can hear the voices. Shit like that was like, dude, I'm a, I fucking love anime. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. The dedication fans would have for shit like that, like uh, Black Clover. I don't want. I haven't seen it, mm. but what's the the guy with the little thing on his side? The captain is he a captain? Yeah, Yami. Yeah. Yami. Yeah, yeah, Yami. There was this one fight scene. I forgot watching. Um, I for, I for, not, I forgot watching. I mean, what is it? I forgot who he fought. He fought someone, but it had like. Two million views on YouTube. I forgot. If you just explain it, I could probably tell you. Bro, like, I, I forgot. You forgot it. I yeah. forgot, dude. It's, but it was I, going crazy. It was crazy. I'm like, dude, what should I watch? Black so, so that reminds me, because uh, y'all both fuck with Dragon Ball, obviously. So, like, have y'all seen the the fan animation of Dragon Ball AF? Is that, is that the one where it's Dragon like Goku with like Saiyan five? Yeah, yeah. Saiyan five. He like spat the fire and it's like. No, yeah. that's not. Yeah. Is that not is AF? It? No, because it's what, like what, what, what we what, what you talking about is like. Exacore. Is like yeah, that's what he's talking about. Is a new fan animation about like Sun Wukong. So so basically, it's like you know Goku's based off of Sun Wukong. Oh yeah, you know that. Wukong. Yeah. Uh, so it's like that's why he's like the monkey and all that stuff, and it's like Sun Goku, but um, I forget what happens, and I'm pretty sure. Have you, you know what I'm talking about though, Eddie? So was he fighting Cell? He was he was fighting <sighs> Or was it Boo? I don't I I saw it when it first came out, but let's was, just I'm just gonna say Cell. Like he was fighting Cell or something. And like him and Vegeta getting smacked up and something happens to Chi Chi. Yeah. So something like he like doesn't kill Chi Chi, but basically like what Beerus did when he slapped Bulma, mm-hmm. basically did that to Chi Chi. But she like got fucked up, bro. I haven't seen this one. And then Goku's like he went Super Saiyan. But like he used his rage to go Super Saiyan, so he spat up like fire, and the fire like burned his face, and it like shot his hair back, and his hair was like fire, and then he grew his tail back, and he had like the uh, like a skull, like, not a skull for his face, but like his face is on fire, and you could like you could see like his eyes, it was like black eyes, Gun and he murder. yeah, and he went like a like a like a like a rage mode and was like fighting cell like a monkey like he was running on all fours and shit and he was like just going bro, pure what? blind no, barbarian no I'm, I'm gonna have to show you this I after the podcast so it dude i watched that bro. Oh, this is so fucking nah, good I and it's fan it's all fan animation it's not like studios or anything like that some fan was like this would be a cool idea let me do it the most recent fan animation i watched with dragon ball was um when uh it's it just came out i think i have it on my youtube it's when Gogeta goes ultra instinct and they fight. Mm. They fight Whis. Mm. Broly goes like Super Saiyan Blue. Like yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that takes me back to the that's AF. <laughs> that's, that's, that's AF. AF too, bro. Bro, AF. I remember watching that too. It'd be, it'd be. It was the X Core. He was like green, red hair, gray, mm. and then Super Saiyan Five uh, Goku. Mm. Yeah, but like hair to his ass crack. You feel me? Yeah. That just reminds me of like when I was a kid. I'd look up like Super Saiyan One Hundred. Oh god! It's like, and it's like the, the hairs. hairs everywhere. Oh god! And then that one song. That one song. What's ah? Uh, uh, what was it? It was um. Through Sandstorm. The, yeah. Nah. That's, <laughs> that shit. That shit brings me back. Nah. I remember watching that when I was a kid, and I was like, <laughs> "I'm telling you, bro, that's Super Saiyan wild. Ten, Super Saiyan One Hundred, Super Saiyan One Thousand. Oh my god! And the different colors. It yeah. just be inverted colors, like yeah. Super Saiyan One <laughs> or Super Saiyan Three, or yeah. no, like five or something. X Five or some yeah. shit. And then it'd be like different hairs. Like it'd be. I remember watching this one Super Saiyan. It'd be like. It was half Vegeta and half Goku's area. <laughs> Super Saiyan 20. Oh, I like, know some funny shit like that. Yeah. You're like, 
Dude, but when I was a kid, I'm like, no way. Oh, I can't wait for bro, this. Bro, I can't man. wait. And they come find out. Nah, bro. It's, it's just, not real. It's just it's fake. It's fake. Yeah. fake as fuck. It's all fake. You know. I saw one, because uh, this is bef- uh, before, like, Super Saiyan. I, I don't want to say before Super Saiyan 4, but it was like, someone said, like, it was like Super Saiyan 50 or something, but it looked just like Super Saiyan 4. Like, it had, like, the, they went, like, back to the monkey. He had, like, the dark eyes. He had, like, the, the fur. Like, but it wasn't like he was like great at form, but not great at form. Mm. And this so was basically Super Saiyan Four, and people were like, "Oh my God, they predicted it." And I, I was like, I feel like because Four is GT. Yeah, Four GT. And that shit came out in like the nineties, was like it early two thousand? I know, I know that the GT, I know it's old. Like, I know it's yeah, not like new. Like I know the GT was like what's what's the guy's name for Dragon Ball Z? Like Toriyama. Toriyama's like his right hand man or some shit made it. I'm not too sure. I think you know no. Uh, it was made by like the studio. Yeah, it was like someone like Toriyama's like like best man or some yeah, shit but, like, like that. Yeah, like he drew like he drew like all the characters. Yeah, he like he invented the plot, the name, and shit yeah. like that. Ninety six. Yeah. For GT. Ninety six for GT. Damn, bro. So I know it was old, but That's I was like, old. I remember watching. That, I was like, and then I saw GT, and I was like, <laughs> what the shit? Oh, that shit was gang. Because I forgot bro. about it, and I was like, I, look, I'm gonna be honest, bro. The whole make him to a kid. That shit was whack as fuck. It was pretty weird. It was pretty weird. Yeah. I feel like it was unnecessary. It didn't need to happen. How, how else were they gonna market to a young audience? Yeah, they wanted to have like they didn't. They want they want. I, I think it was young audience, and they kind of wanted to play on like the nostalgia of like remember OG Dragon Ball when he was a kid. Well, that's like why Goten and uh, Goten and Trunks were so little kids for so long because they had little kids like to buy like their merchandise. But now they got pants, so they could finally grow up. Mm. That's why if you watch the new movie with uh, Cell Max, they're like, oh, I got a growth spurt. Because, you know, like, oh, which means, like, we got Pan now. You could finally grow up. Yeah. Even though you're, like, 13 at this point or whatever. Yeah. I do miss, like, the old, the old school, like, Future Trunks, though. He was, like, like this is the look. The look I feel like I was thinking Because, like, new the, Future Trunks looks like a fucking... It's a, it's I was going to say something. Like, he character. looks like he looks dumb. What, new Future Trunks? I don't like the way he looks. I just miss the old Future Trunks, like, with the purple hair and it's parted. He got, like, the sword. He got that clean, like... He still has the sword in the new one. Well, yeah, but it's, like, like the the whole look of everything, he just looked, like, grittier. And I get it, it's, like, a different future, but it's, like, he looks like a pansy now. And he looks dumb. Oh, I mean, bitch. he just has blue hair. He's yeah, his like features are softer. It's just, he looks That's different. just everyone in Super. I like, guess. Like, it's completely two different art styles. Too, I guess, but like they could. To- I will. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't do this, but they could totally make a spinoff series just with Future Trunks, like for sure. Especially because like um, they talked about, it, but like what he did to like Majin, but, like uh, Deborah and uh, Bobbity, like he Boo didn't even come out. He destroyed them before Boo came out. I was like, you could have totally made a series with like him being the sole protector of Earth. For I sure. Was, I was thinking about it in my head, like my own like fan. Hand <laughs> That's gangsta as fuck. Hold on. Yeah, like, like him fighting like that. Let, let him cook. Let him cook. Maybe like Dragon Ball Future or something like that, and like have Future Trunks be it would, uh, be the main character. But like they reset the timeline. Now he's like in a universe where like there's a separate Trunks and separate Mai. Yeah, all that. I think it was just wasted potential, personally. I think so. Especially yeah, because well. like Future Trunks is cool, and like definitely like <sighs> he met Gohan. Like, but Gohan was like in a scholar phase, so he was like, so he wasn't the warrior he thought he was. Yeah. But I I think it definitely would have been cool if like in the Universal Survivor arc they brought Future Trunks in. Yes and no. Um, are you, are you talking about the uh, like the TOP and stuff? Terminal Power. Yeah. Yeah, the Universal Survivor arc. Yeah. So T O I I I've never heard a re- re- reference to that. But like you had to be there. I guess I did. I just always heard like TOP like Terminal Power. But um, I mean like what. What would he really like? He comes back and does what? What do you mean he comes back? Like, because you're taking like the the current future trunks. Like, you don't get the future trunks back from like. Because like the the current one, like what he doesn't. I I, I can't remember him really doing anything. If they br- well, if like they he doesn't have that many Like feats. if they brought him back, they, I'm saying like for such a cool character, like he was only there for like two sagas, which is well, the, the for me it felt like he was just there to say like, hey, there's like this threat from my timeline coming back to hurt y'all. Stop it. Yeah. Or it's oh, like, yeah, hey, in, first... in my time this happened, stop it before it happens. Like in the Android saga or the, the uh, Goku like, Black? Like in, like in both the, the Goku Black and the Android saga. Well, it was interesting. Well, like uh, the, the second part, I would say, yeah. Uh, That's what mostly it felt because like. that whole arc was just fan service because it's evil Goku. And like, yeah. oh, we're also bringing back future trunks. And now you get Vegito Blue. Like basically, everyone got what they wanted. Mm. 
But I'm saying like, oh man, I really wish Future Trunks stayed around, especially because like his universe got erased, and instead of like, like you know, like him living with like a uh, current Dragon Ball can, he's like, oh, how about we just put you in a universe where there's a copy of yourself and a copy of like everything, but you could like he said he'll live in the mountains or some shit like that. Like he's gone. Yeah. From my knowledge, that's like what I uh, what oh, I remember. right. I mean, yeah. Didn't his universe like blow up and shit? Yeah. They no, his universe got erased. Like everything. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Right. And then, like, he's like, oh, I'll just live in this universe and, like, be by myself forever. With I me. mean, maybe it has to be something with, like... Oh, I see what you mean. Time. Yeah, you yeah. want, like, a continuation. Yeah, I wanted him to stay what in, like... What happened? We yeah, know. I wanted him to stay in that. So, like, so like, because, uh, like I said, Kid Trunks and, uh, and Future Trunks are two completely different characters because of their circumstances. Mm. So, because Kid Trunks is a brat, he could look up to, like, Future Trunks and be like, well, maybe I should stop, like, like a being model. a brat. Yeah. yeah. Because Goten also looks up to Trunks. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, uh, I would have preferred that Trunks stayed, like, future Trunks stayed behind. Like, it wasn't just, like, a, like a use him and then throw him away type yeah. thing. But, like, like who still... knows? Maybe, like, when it comes back, they'll bring him back. And if it does, I'll definitely, like, jerk off for a little bit because they brought <laughs> back my boy. He's going to wink. Especially, like, what they do in, in the game Kakarot. Like, mm. have you played that game Kakarot? Is that the long-ass game that takes you, like, 17 hours to get to the Frieza? Yeah. Yeah. You, you finished it or no? Fuck no. I'm in. Dude, no, I'm no. still in the Frieza arc. I, I see clips. Fuck that shit, I see boy. Clips of it, dude. I don't and play like games like I used to anymore. The way that they portray like uh, future trunks or like future Gohan, like that future with the androids, I'm like that's so cool. Like, like a yeah. darker tone, like Dragon Ball, where there's only like one dude defending everything. It's yeah. not. Like, it's not like you know you got Goku there. You got Trunks. You know, and things. Trunks is not Goku. Yeah, I remember like uh, people just like on TikTok and shit, and they're just always talking about like. But I guess that makes sense how, like, Gohan couldn't beat the androids. Because, like, you would just have the Zenkai boost and be fine. At that and, like, point, I, they just don't understand the logistics of, like, the Zenkai boost. Also, I don't think Toriyama also knows that. So, like, whoever writes it doesn't know that either. I just live with it. Whatever they say happens, I'm like, I accept it. Well, because, like, I would assume it's, like, because Zenkai boost, you have to, like, fully recover, no? Because <sighs> yeah. it's not just, like, you're, it's not just, like, near death and then you get stronger. It's near death, recover, and then get stronger. But because, like, every day he woke up, fought the androids... Until he was like knocked out, and then like had to get back up again and fight the because like they were destroying everything. But you could you could also argue that 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 Gohan wasn't as strong as like you know we people will put him out to be because like after he killed everyone, what did what did Gohan really do? He was kind of by himself. There's only so much you could do by yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And like his other sparring partner was Trunks, who was like a toddler. So what's he yeah. gonna do? Also, like the androids have like infinite stamina. Yeah. So yeah it's, like, but that was like you know that that shit was before like you know. Super Saiyan 2, like, I've seen arguments for, like, why didn't he go Super Saiyan 2? I was like, he probably could have, but, like... At the time, we would have seen, didn't like, think about that. Yeah, like, that's why I've always wanted to, like, have, like, a reimagining of Dragon Ball, where everything was thought out beforehand, and they did, yeah. and, like, they redid well, it. They prepped wild. everything. Because, like, I, I would pay money. I know, to like, that. I'm pretty sure it's Toriyama with Dragon Ball, but he's, like, openly saying, like, yeah, my fans know more about this shit than I do. Like, I, I, I forget that I say stuff. Yeah, he forgets his Like, characters. he forgets his shit all the time. He forgets time. launch. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know who that girl is anymore. She used to be Tien's girlfriend. She used yeah. to be like an assassin or some shit. I yeah. fucking I forget. Yeah. I remember lunch. Yeah, I just think we she's do. Bad low key. <laughs> I was like, I watched Dragon Ball. I was like, especially like when I like when I went to my Dragon Ball phase where I was like watching like a lot of Team Four Star and like specific stuff about it. Like I was like, dude, like Dragon Ball like could be really, really, really good if it was just like you know reimagined, <laughs> like same premise, same everything, but like reimagined. Yeah, Even to someone who actually remembers, like, their like, character. Like, everything that's happening. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. But then it kind of ended up like a... I don't want to say like a Kai situation, where it's just, like, Well, Kai's, shortened. Kai was just, like, remastered. It wasn't yeah, it's really, like a like, remastered. Because, like, you have to, like, completely change, like, the source material for it to be... to be. I, I'd agree, like, it would be better off if it was, like, re like, if there was a remaster of, like, everything was thought out and everything. I, I agree with that. But it, it was just, like, you have to change everything. You don't have to change everything. Because, like, if Gohan goes Super Saiyan 2... Fan, there's fan... Well, I'm not saying he should do that. I'm saying, like, like there's already fan, like, mangas of that happening. Mm. And, like, I read it, and I'm like, this is really good. Like, I wish it would have been this way. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't wish it would have been that way, but I would have wished there was, like, you know, like, a spinoff. Like, this is Dragon Ball... Like, Future, yeah. Future. Oh, let him cook. Hold on. This... Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't see it like that. I'm like, just like you said, 
It is what it is. Yeah, it, it is yeah. what it is. You learn like, to accept it. It, can, right, it could it. be worse. It could shit. Like it could be canceled. Like this could have not made any more Dragon Ball. But, yeah, you know, we would have never gotten Super Saiyan God. Yeah. Or uh, Ultra Instinct. Or Ultra, Ultra Instinct. Instinct. Yeah. Now, uh, you read the manga on that one or no? On uh, Super, yeah. it's been a while, but I I got pretty far into it. Yeah. Yeah, like Black Freezer and shit. Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, and then the. Uh, Vegeta unlocking the new form. Mm. The, what is it called? Ultra Ego. Ultra, Ultra Ego, Ego, like where you have to mm. beat his ass to get strong or something yeah, like that? Uh, what is it? Like the more damage he takes. No, it's a. Uh, I forgot. I, I, want to, I want to say something like the, the, more, the more hits he takes, the stronger he is. Yeah, but there's like a side to that, you know? Or it's like the more he's losing the battle, the stronger he is. Yeah, so he something, wins the like battle more. something like that. Some, something weird like this. And then, like, uh, I'm, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did see Ultra Instinct. You know how Ultra Instinct in the show, he's like bulky and buff? Yeah. In the manga, he like gets skinny, like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Mm. Like, you know how he, in the red one, that yeah. one? You know how he's skinny? Mm. Well, in the show, he like, or in the show, I'm sorry, in the manga, he gets skinny again. So I'm like, damn. So even more forms mm. after Ultra Instinct, where you thought he, he's raps, he, he can, he's maxed out. Yeah. Nah, more, boom. Black Frieza comes back. Boom. Then one shots both of them. Mm. Boom. Like, what? They can really do another arc on how Frieza got strong, you know? Mm. Frieza's always been, like, my... My character where I thought of, like, if they would just give him, like... I guess the best way to describe it is, like, give him, like, ambition. Make him, like, not just want to get stronger just to, like, be stronger, like, than Goku. But, like, actually actively train more. Because, like, you think about, like... um uh like uh, when he went to hell and he like didn't even like physically train he just like mentally trained and he got vastly stronger than he already was that's when he unlocked golden frieza right that was a that was after he got beaten with the golden frieza that was after yeah because he he got beaten because he couldn't control his form that's how mm. goku beat him mm. according to the movie i didn't read i don't watch because like, I, I just know like yeah. he didn't do any edition. physical training it was literally just mental training and he got so much stronger than he was like he like he close the gap between like him and goku basically and it's like imagine if he would just put the training in like the way that goku and vegeta do like bro would be insane his well, it's, potential it's because like it's because like he like when he was born he Monkey. never had a train so he yeah. already had a higher cap than goku exactly or vegeta yeah. so like when he, he never trained, needed bro, he was born strong he, yeah yeah so like it's like when he trained for like the three months and got super saiyan god was like yeah it's because he was that strong now you can say the same argument for Majin Buu because Majin Buu was yeah. more natural, stronger than uh, Goku, and that's like the same thing with Oob. Oob already has that high cap point. And imagine training it; it'd be a lot. He'd be stronger than anyone. Well, doesn't that kind of go into like the fact that he was like uh, reincarnated? Yeah, reincarnated. Was he reincarnated? Oob. Yeah. Not Oob, like Buu. Like Boo. he was. He was like a. Uh... He was Kid Buu. No, like, like, in, like in Super, they talk about how like he was, uh, like one of like the Kai's, and like he like trapped. Well, uh, it was Kid Buu. Kid Buu is the original form, and then he absorbed one of the Kai's and got and became Fat Buu, which is like more happy and jolly. Yeah. And, uh, I think Kid Buu, yeah, Kid Buu is stronger than like regular Fat Buu, but those are like two completely different versions. Mm, okay. Okay. So uh, when he absorbed like that Kai, he got, I believe he got weaker. I could be wrong, but Kid Buu is stronger than uh, Majin Buu and Super Buu stronger than all of them. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. See, the thing is too, man, like now that, you know, talking about it makes you think, bro, we've been watching this shit for a long time. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this shit. We OGs. We're not OG OG like you know like like back in the nineties. Yeah, the, that's, well, we're, that's, we're, cause it, that it's like we're from birth. Like, from we're March, we're yeah. I guess you can say from youngins. We're the youngins that I don't want to say it. Fuck it. The the ones who set everything off. You feel me? Mm -hmm. The ones who let no not letting it. It's like it's more like the the ones who open the doors to newcomers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like we, like, we hey, opened it you up know, for everyone. Yeah, we're like hey, you know. Yeah, you would get shit for it, but now not anymore. It's cool now. Come on in, feel me? Mm, I got you. It's I like got you. It's, that's how I think of it now. You know, now everybody's watching it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing it. The trends, you know, people getting fucking tattoos. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like I don't, I don't, I'm gonna get some too. Bro. Like I'm gonna get some anime tattoos. Yeah, that's for sure. Like I'm gonna get like the the JoJo Joe Star. I was like, thinking of being Sasuke's curse mark. Yeah. 
I was thinking right. the, the Berserk one here in my... Bro. Yeah, I was going to get it, like, just right there where Guts yeah. has it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's a, a pretty good place to end it. Um, before we go, do uh, you want to shout yourself out, plug, anything? Shit, socials, anything um, like that? Socials, what we're looking at here. We're looking at on Snap. If you want to add me, like I said, I don't know if you remember, I had my Snap made in freshman year. So, it's ready. It's M-A-N-Y underscore T-H-E. All that's right. It. Manny underscore T-H-E. That's it. Well, add me back, feel me? Good to go. If not, it's cool. Do what you got to do, feel me? But yeah, I had a fun time. Yeah, well, great. we got we got one more. I got one more quick question. Mm. So I want you to think about like your everyday life, right? Mm. So if you could have magic and it makes one everyday task just like way easier, what would it be? What would be that task? It's just one. But it could be anything in your day-to-day life. Shit. Oh, man masturbating like for instance like if you chose like brush my teeth your teeth are just brushed like like your toothbrush just does it for you oh i'm gonna say i'm gonna say dude, that's nasty. i'm not I'm gonna, I'm gonna say i was gonna be like shower yeah. i'm tired of showering bro nasty ass because well at that point it'd be like like you'd be sitting like on your bed or something and the water like will wash you oh. and like it just like it's like and then oh, it goes shit. back in the okay. drain Damn. so like, it gave you any task in your day-to-day life magic just makes it like that it just happens for you he said masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Are you do that if you want to? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let me think, let me think, let me think. There's something I hate doing every fucking day. What is it? Oh my god. Something stupid like tying your shoes or something like that. Oh yeah, tying my shoes getting just, dressed. Uh, getting dressed, right. I say work. Honestly, bro. Fuck. I don't know. I say, I say mm. work. That's you say day. work? Alright, yeah. we're gonna make this interesting. I'm gonna give you a fifteen second timer. Uh-huh. So you got 15 seconds to think about this shit. Okay. And they got, at the end of 50 seconds, you got to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Ready? Mm. So get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. First thing that comes to your mind. Clothing. Clothing. Just dress yourself. Just it boom. picks everything for you. Everything it just for you. got you. Yeah. You got the, got the drip on going on today. Everything. All that yeah, shit. just boom. Yeah. Get up, boom, snap, boom, change clothes. Oh, you got to work, boom. Work outfit. You got, you got your shit, yeah. Oh, gym, boom. Gym outfit. Oh, date, boom. You know. That's, that's actually kind of good. Yeah. You know, uh, got a shower. Oh, you shower with, you know, shower. You shower right. And then your pajamas. It's boom. there, yeah. You know, wake up. Clothing socks. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Makes boom, sense, boom. but... You would be one of those. All right, so go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, follow the socials, follow the Manny. Uh, make sure, let us know, you know, we have a special guest, so let us know if you want any other guests on the episode. But, you know, whatever. I'll see y'all later.